all right hello everybody and peace of Christ to all of you uh, today we have a nice topic and I see not many people they are online I think because people they are watching the wedding of the amazing Prince hmm I wonder they get married today how long is going to, to last before they get divorced hmm However, the corrupt world enjoy showtime. They love those kind of theaters, and they love this kind of stupidity. The men they are dreaming to be the prince who is getting married, and the women they are dreaming to be the princes, getting married from the prince. But the world do not understand that both of them are not good people. Count my words, and let us see how many years is going to take those two who got married today celebrating their divorce. Hmm. I think it's about three years. The world is very funny. It's busy with the stupid things when the world is collapsing. Look like a human being is looking for entertainment and he is a dreamer we will go and answer the topic a muslim abdul from india i think he's from india or pakistan i'm not sure but he look indian with my respect to all the beautiful indian i know he sent me this message and you know i cannot resist the temptation of answering the abdul now this guy he claimed he will not call me because I will not let him talk. I don't know how this happened because we are speaking in Skype. I wrote this to Christians in Facebook. Your comment, please. Dear Frederick, Friedrich, Jesus had the most difficult and miserable time during his first year or three years ministry. He received salvation. He received no salvation himself. So how can he provide salvation? I mean, logic. He received no salvation, so how he can receive salvation? You know, uh, I want to use your logic to ask myself the question about the Quran. Muhammad, he spent 40 years as an idiot in the desert, and he did not learn Arabic. At least how to write his name. Muhammad spent 40 years in the desert and he did not know Allah as the Quran said and I will show you the reference. Muhammad he spent 40 years in his life and he did not know what faith is. So how he can provide you salvation? 40 years he could not find who is the true God? Before we continue, because I like to, to support what I say with proofs. I don't like to say speeches as the Muslims do. Let us see. For sure, there's many verses, but we will we will focus in the important ones, or let us say the most important, exposing Muhammad. And his false claim that he is a prophet. Let us see. وَكَذَلِكَ أَوْحَيْنَا إِلَيْكَ رُوحًا مِنْ مِنْ أَمْرِنَا مَا كُنْتَ تَدْرِي مَا الْكِتَابُ وَلَا الْإِيمَانُ I'm sure that Abdul who is listening, he have no idea what I'm saying. You know, they are copy-paste people. They don't even speak the language of their book. Which is necessarily, according to Muslims and Islam, to pray to Allah. To know the language chapter 42 verse number 52 not my translation take a note I have nothing to do with the translation this is the translation of Abdul like you and thus have we sent have we uh, uh, thus uh, have we by our command sent inspiration to thee though knowest not before what was revelation and what was faith we have a guy 
he was an atheist for 40 years according to the Quran and yet the Muslims they lie to us in every article in every speech that Muhammad was an Abrahamic follower before he became a prophet what a big scam so 40 years of his life He did not knows two things and who is the one is confirming that I hope the Muslim will accuse Allah to be a liar for he is he know not what is revelation which mean he never know anything about any revelation he is not Abrahamic he is not the Muslim they say he is from Ishmael this is shish kebab stupid idiot you know stop lying to yourself the Quran confirmed that he know nothing about any revelation and he know nothing about what it's called faith it's possible though that here the Quran is not saying that Muhammad was an atheist and I don't think so I think he do not know what is the true faith which mean Muhammad for 40 years was a pagan worshiper but all of us we knew that after Muhammad he announced himself as a prophet nothing changed he go pray around the Kaaba kiss the black stone the same as every pagan in the bushes guys please don't forget to invite your friends we don't have many people here I'm not sure maybe you guys are watching the wedding of the Prince I think the wedding of the Prince is important we have to mention that the wedding of the prince will pay your bills will make you pass your study finish your school the wedding of the prince will bring food in your table i mean but the prince wedding will solve all the problems the same as muhammad problem now so muhammad according to the quran spent 40 years of his life as an idiot of the village now we go back to this Abdul from India again I'm not making fun of Indian people just take a note please I love the Indian people actually my best of friends are Indian he said here how he can provide salvation if he received no salvation for himself the answer for that Abdul for you I will spank you from the Quran if we go in the Quran Am I allowed to spank Muslims from the Quran? Yes, I am. And I am the best to do it. If we go in the Quran, Abdul, we will find the following. Is قالت الملائكة يا مريم إن الله يبشرك بكلمة منه اسمه المسيح عيسى بن مريم Wajihan fi dunya wal akhira min al muqarrabin. Chapter 3, verse number 45. What is that saying? Let us see. The angels say to Mary, O Mary, Allah gave you thee the glad tiding for a word from him. His name, not will be, his name is the Christ. You see here, they will say they will be. That's false translation. His name is the Christ. Isa, not Jesus, first translation. The son of Mary held on honor in honor in this world and the hereafter. So the idiot he is saying to us how Jesus received salvation. That's I mean he, how he can provide salvation if he received no salvation. You idiot, Jesus before his birth, not only he is saved. He is from the most close people to Allah. And who is the one saying that? Your God, the God of the Abdul, the pimp, the vagina provider, the one who will increase the size of your penis because before you go to heaven. I challenge you now to say that I'm lying. As you see, it's in front of you. And here you find something very funny. 
we showed you in the other verse Muhammad he spent 40 years in his life as an idiot of the village who do not know what faith is and who do not know what revelation is but yet here we have different story here we have Jesus is speaking in the cradle as a prophet of God so let us imagine and compare why it took Muhammad 40 years to learn how to say Allahu Akbar and why it took Jesus one second to say I am the Messiah the messenger of God according to the Quran any Muslim can explain to me why it took Muhammad a lot of harsh time to be squeezed by an angel of God and obviously this angel is hoping that Muhammad after he squeezed him some my units will come out but yet Jesus is speaking in the cradle and he is just one second old who is the one who taught Jesus wisdom when he was one second old why Jibreel is not involved in teaching Jesus any Muslims why Jibreel he did not come to Jesus when he was a child and squeeze him three times and say to him read read your stupid book confirmed to us that you Muslims are a bunch of ignorance and you have no idea what is written in your Quran the Quran proved to us that the Messiah do not need any time to get mature to be the Word of God speaking about God for he is the Word of God and actually the verse before it says that clearly he is the Word of God and the Word of God do not need to receive salvation you idiot for the word of God is God himself as long you are quoting for me from the book of John you dummy is not it in the beginning of the book of John it says in chapter 1 verse number 1 in the beginning it was the word and the word was with God and the word is the God and in verse number 14 it says that the word became a flesh that is Jesus and the Quran confirmed that for us so how the word who which was with God needs salvation is the word of God a sinner even you Muslims Abdul you believe that the word of God is eternal that's mean Jesus is eternal and that explain why even according to your cult Jesus is still alive while Muhammad is in the grave and been eaten by the worm as salad and cocktail if Jesus is not the word of God which is eternal why the Muslims cannot explain to us why he is still alive now when everybody is dead any Muslim can explain to us if Jesus cannot give salvation unless he received salvation and he did not receive salvation according to this guy how come the Quran promised Jesus that he is from the closest to be to with God before even his birth? So Allah was speaking to who? You know what I mean, guys? Allah, he promised Jesus, the Messiah, to be one of the closest to Allah. He was promising a person he does not exist or he was promising the word. That means this person who is not exist in the flesh he is exist as a word as you see he have a name he have a title you see the messiah is not just a person and muhammad because he's a thief he got himself busted as usual he copied the title of al messiah without knowing what does that mean why he is al messiah why can't you say his name is Jesus what does the Messiah mean 
why Allah himself is giving a title to this newborn child or he not is not even born yet that his name you see you see guys when I say to you the translation of Muslims is false look at this whose name is the Messiah and the other one he says will be you see the lie the liar the other one Yusuf Ali it doesn't say will be his name is the Messiah his name so at this moment when Allah is speaking supposedly he is speaking about a person who is exist not someone will be exist but how he can be exist when Mary is not a bread net yet you know what I mean how the Messiah can be exist according to this verse when Mary is not a bread net because remember after that Allah he breathed into her in her vagina which is very stupid and very you know filthy from God to say so and the Muslim tried to explain that they said you know no no he blow wind in her uh, bra bra may bra take you I rub you all over at that time nobody wear a bra my friend same time it says farjaha you idiot since when the word Faraj in Arabic mean a bra? You remind me of Russian song. It says barra 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 barra. The Muslims barra barra. They are crazy. Rah. Amazing. To avoid the stupidity of the Quran and the fabrication of the Quran that Allah He made Mary pregnant by breathing into her vagina. Since when women get pregnant by breathing into her vagina? Hmm? I think my my father did not have sex with my mom. Yeah, I think he was breathing there. Actually, most of men they don't make their wife's breath net by having sex. They just breathe. True story. The important for us here in this madness that the Messiah, his name is the Messiah, is exist before his birth. He is not going to exist, but yet he is not born yet. But yet he is, his mother is not a pregnant with him yet. So where was the Messiah at that time? That will be explained in the Bible. Jesus said before Abraham I am. Actually this idiot, he is quoting for us from John, chapter uh, chapter 17 as you see in the front of you and he quote for us only verse number three i mean you see the muslims just to show you that muslims are officially certified stupid people with no insult if you are one of those certified people in different career i mean we're talking about stupidity here i hope there's no competition to show you the stupidity of the muslim this guy he just quoted for us a chapter confirmed that Jesus is God. Yes, is my voice clear? Why we have only 85 people here? Ah, people were still watching the wedding. The girls today are dreaming. Why I am not the one who married this prince? Don't worry, he's an idiot. He will divorce her after three years maximum. Just wait. And she will leave him to a new guy. Just wait, just wait. Those are corrupt people, my friend. Don't be a dreamer. Stop. Come on. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Corrupt, corrupt word. Unbelievable. Uh, he is the son of his mother. She slept with the whole town. Even the cook, even the guard, even the Muslims. I mean, nothing left. Let us go back to the topic. If we go to John 17. We will find the following. In John 17, my friend, the verse you quote for me, it is an amazing verse proving to me that Muslims, when they speak about Jesus not receiving salvation, obviously they are drinking too much camel urine. However, it's proven by scientific scientist from Japan. His name is Yama. I do lie, Yama, that camel urine is very healthy. 
These things spoke Yeshua or Yeshua and lifted his eyes into heaven and he said, My father, hold on. You stupid, you just said that the Messiah is speaking to his father. Take a note, Abdul. How the son is not receiving salvation when he is the son of his father. Mm. Then read carefully what Jesus said. My father, the hour has come. Glorify your son. Jesus did not receive salvation, but yet the father himself is glorifying him. Why Muslims they quote a verse and they don't read the one before it? Because the purpose of the verse they are quoting is to lie to themselves, not to us. For us, we see it clear that this is about the Almighty God glorifying the Messiah. How that can be? Who can be glorified by God? Who is that person is a qualified? To be glorified by God. Any Muslim can answer me? Am I glorified by God? Do God glorify me? Then the Messiah continues saying that your son may glorify you just as you have given him the authority or authority over the flesh. So the Muslim, he says here, okay, hold on. The Bible, Jesus just confirmed that he received the authority from the Father. So he is not, you know, he is not saved. He just received authority. Abdul, Jesus here is announcing how and why he have the authority. Because the Jews, they accuse Jesus of blasphemy against God when he forgave the sin of mankind. They said, who is he to forgive sin? So the Messiah here is explaining to the fool people like you, I am the son of my father and everything I have is given to me from him because people, they look in front of them, they see just a man, a human being. How a human being is going to forgive sin? In which authority the Messiah was forgiven sin. The Messiah is explaining that everything I have is from my Father, which means we Christians, we don't worship the Messiah, the man. We worship the Messiah, the Word of God. Jesus, the man, is not our interest. It's just a flesh. It's just a form to appear with. The Muslims, as we know, they received the idea, or let's say, they received the idea of incarnation in a very funny way. And they say to you, God is a man. You're, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, if you go in the Quran, you will find the Quran speaking literally as somebody working in the office of a Trump hmm? about the middle east but he never been there ever you know i mean like uh, the middle eastern people they have uh, three ears you know they don't even know how to describe us yet until now if we go in the quran we will see how allah speak about the incarnation actually the verse in front of us is speaking about the incarnation of god for the word of God became a man, chapter 3, verse number 45, and we showed you that already. However, we have many examples of the incarnation of God in Islam. The Quran confirmed that Allah, in the judgment day, He is going to expose he is a beautiful, magnificent shin. And as all of us, we knew, there is no way that the shin of Allah will be the shin of anyone. If you remember, there's a Muslim, he was debating me, and he told me, Christian Prince is a sheikh. You remember Nabil Baikli? He said to me, first of all, nobody knows who is Allah. 
thank you very much for telling me that second of all yeah uh sh that, do you think the shin of allah is like your shin no for sure not My friend, let us assume for the sake of any, any like uh, whatever argument you have, that Allah Shin is the most shiny, beautiful Shin in the world, and no Shin like it. That will not change anything that it is a Shin. Let us say the Shin of Allah don't have here. My, me, my, you know, my, myself, I am Middle Eastern. Once I went to the swimming pool, the, the security guard, he said, Sir, you cannot swim with your clothes. I said, I'm not wearing my clothes. This is my hair. And what clothes? <laughs> so reg shut up. Regardless, regardless, how you describe for us the shin of Allah and you yourself you Muslim do not know how the shin of Allah look like I mean how you can tell us the shin of Allah does not look like mine if you don't know even how it looked like anyway huh but what is confirmed that Allah is going to expose his shin and that is what is important for me the day that the shin shall be laid be what a day I cannot wait for that day. Allah is going to do strip these for us. Allah will go in the bar counter and he will show his shin and the Muslims like, look, what? What, what? This is the shin of Allah? I hope the Muslims, they will not do any, any, any proper behavior when they see the shin of Allah because obviously it's magnificent and so beautiful. And you know that shin can lead into temptation. So Allah, He have a shin. And Allah, when be when He admit that He have a shin, actually, you know, we can go to YouTube right now. I made a video; you can watch it about who is Allah and or what is Allah. You will see the Muslims speaking about Allah shin, Allah leg, Allah five fingers, Allah have a nose, Allah have a toes, Allah have a whatever. You know, uh, Allah is a, just a physical being. As long as Allah is a physical being, that is incarnation. Because he is taking a shape of a body. Now, is God is a body? According to all religion, which is pagan, yes. Like Buddhas. You know, they have statues of God. And God have a body and etc. But they have their own philosophy anyway. But the Muslims they refuse Jesus and they try to make fun of how God became a man, but their God Himself is a man because what is the shape of Allah? Allah have five fingers. What does that mean? Either he is a man or a gorilla. There's many animals have five fingers anyway, but he have to be one of them. Allah have a foot. Why he have a foot? Is the Bigfoot guy the one they speak about him in the media? Allah have two eyes. Allah have five fingers. Allah have an arm. Allah have a Allah have two hands and both of them in the right side, which is very funny. I wish I can do that. Have you ever heard of a god? His two hands are right hands. Behold, 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 my friend, the dispenser of justice will be seated on the polypets of the light is beside God on the right side of the merciful blah 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 blah. And okay, 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 okay. Huh? Muhammad here. Is trying to copy what the Bible says that the right side and the left side, etc. But look what Muhammad he said. Muhammad always add his own spice and he make it funny. And then Muhammad he said, 
the prophet s a w b m w f m 500 cc mercedes ben said those who are just and fair will be with allah look at this false promise isn't you in the hadith said to us that nobody is saved anyway unless allah he warp us by his mercy muhammad now is giving promises so he will be with Allah most high on thrones of light and at the right hand of the most merciful those who are just in their ruling and they are dealing with their, their families and those whom they are in charge. Then he said, Muhammad, the narrator said, and both of his hands are right hands. We have a God who have two hands and both of them in the right side. So if we want to draw Allah in the incarnation of Allah, we will find that Allah look like this. I made him in blue, you know, just to make the Muslims happy because he's in heaven, you know. So Allah have two right hands. And both of them they are in the right side in the left side there's nothing and that's mean Allah have two right legs and in the left things there's nothing I mean how Allah can balance himself look like Allah look like the kangaroo two right hand in the right side and two two right legs in the in the right side so what we have in the left side do Allah he have his heart in the right side too because obviously the, the, the left side is empty. Is it like a balloon there? Maybe Allah, he put the, the, the gas there and it's a, the gas tank there, you know? I mean, I don't know. This is the wisdom of Islam. They want to teach you about Jesus when they have the most funny incarnated God who have two hands in the right side. I think this is a birth defect. There's no way that Allah is born this way. By the way, my mom told me something, but please don't share anything like this with your friends or YouTube or just between us, you know. That me when I was born, this is a long time ago, long time ago. I like 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 I think it was like nice last week. Yeah, when I was when I was born, she gave birth to me. I have two hands, but it was not in the right side. It was in the pocket of the doctor. Yeah, right away when I was born, I put my hands in the pocket of the doctor looking for candies. You believe it? And my mom, she said, like, my son, my son, the doctor, she said, what? He said, he's stealing your candies. Unbelievable. What the heck? He's practicing his Arabian lifestyle since the birth, the first birth in his day. Anyway. <coughs> Sorry, guys. It is the hashish. It's, it's taking effect, you know, because we Muslims, we don't drink alcohol we focus in hashish only <laughs> they told the saudi prince isn't it uh, hashish is haram he said no first of all the alcohol is haram and we don't sell hashish to muslims we say it to the muslims anyway um, alhamdulillah but if you go to afghanistan everybody in afghanistan is addicted to their daily sandwich the cocaine now we go back if we go back to the statement made by this Abdul this beautiful Abdul he himself said that the salvation come from the Jews simply meaning salvation come from being a Jew Abdul I don't know 
what Muslims do eat when when we speak about salvation is coming from the Jews that's mean that our Lord the Messiah he is going to be born between the Jews from a Jewish woman and your Quran confirm that salvation is from the Jews let me spank you <clears throat> Let us see. In this chapter in the front of us, chapter six, verse number eighty four, what this chapter is saying. And we gave him Isaac and Jacob. All, all, here between two brackets, three guided. Who is the three? Which means Abraham. Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. Guided and before him we guided Noah. And among his offspring, David, Solomon, Job, Joseph, Moses, and Aaron. Who are they, those people? None of them is an Arab. Those are the grandfathers and the Jews and the grandfather of the Jews. So your Quran confirmed that the guidance come from them. Then we will find here. In chapter 19, 19, verse number 49, it confirmed when he turned away from them and uh, from those whom they worshipped beside Allah, which is funny, we bestowed on him Isaac and Jacob, and each one of them we made a prophet. Where is Ishmael? Guys, why Allah in purpose is a skipping Ishmael? Ishmael is the eldest. Do you notice? Do you notice here the hypocrite Muhammad? Why Muhammad is not speaking about Ishmael? Because at that stage, Muhammad was trying to present himself as a prophet for the Jews so they might accept him. The Jews don't consider Ishmael at all. So Muhammad in this moment, he is fabricating Quran trying to sell himself out as a prophet who can be accepted by the Jews. This is why Ishmael is not exist. Where is Ishmael? Remember the Muslims, they say that Ishmael is a prophet of God. But this verse is dropping a very important name, the elder in the family. And in case you do not know, in the Middle East, the elder of the family is the same person who can inherit the authority of the father, which means he is the most important person. You know what I mean? The elder of the family is the most important person in the family. So, uh, you know, this is, see, I have, a, I have an older brother in the Middle East. If my father pass away, he will be the one, he will be considered the same equal in the authority for the family as a father. And we have to obey. That is our tradition. So how here the Quran is dropping a name of which Muslim consider as a prophet. What happened? Allah, he forgot about Ishmael. You will see here, he is counting the glorified people of Israel and Ishmael is not part of the glorified people in this story you see it if we continue we will find more reference confirming that again and again chapter 21 verse number 72 and we gave birth to him to uh, we gave him uh, uh, Isaac and Jacob and then here is the disaster 
in chapter 29 verse number 27 the Quran confirmed that all the prophet of God they must be from the children's and necessarily and a must from the children of Isaac and Jacob bingo do you see it and we gave Abraham the verse doesn't say Abraham by the way but because now the verse before it speak about who so Abraham is the father and we gave Abraham Isaac and Jacob and ordained among his progeny brotherhood and revelation and we granted him his reward the important for us about this that the one who is from his children's is the prophet of God And revelation have to come from them is Jacob and Muhammad sorry and uh, and Isaac sorry <laughs> so where is Muhammad any Muslim can help me even your funny Quran confirm that not all the children of Adam uh, Abraham are prophets and prophets will come only from the seeds of Jacob and Isaac was that a mistake in the Quran any Muslim in the bushes where is Ishmael because remember Muslims they claim that Muhammad is from Ishmael which is very funny and very false Ishmael cannot be the father of the Arab because he himself is exist when the Arab was exist to make it simple for you few months ago I went to China let us say when I was in China I married a Chinese woman her name is Ching Hong 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 okay can I claim that I am the father of the Chinese and is my son really as a Chinese? No, the son belonged to his father. If Ishmael is a son of Abraham, Abraham is not an Arab. He is an Aramaic Assyrian from the land of Iraq. How he is the father of the Arab? Some people they say that Abraham he might be uh, you know because there's many ethnic group in that area but it doesn't matter really what is their ethnic they are not Arab those are people who have uh, you know their own language they have their own look they have their own color they have their own uh, uh, history they have nothing to do with Arab and the word Arab by the way is not even an ethnic group the word Arab mistakenly many people they think Arab is an ethnic it's not you see many things you use in your life today is coming from the Aramaic including the letters you use oh sorry the numbers you use in English they tell you that those are Arabic letters the fact this is false those are Aramaic the Aramaic alphabet is the same as the English letters or Latin uh, the numbers you use today the Aramaic they have an impact of everybody around them the word Europe is coming from the Aramaic language the word Africa is coming from the Aramaic language the word I mean when you pray Muslims Christians Jews they when they pray they say I mean this is from the Aramaic language Aramaic is everywhere and Muhammad and the Arab in that area, they are not really an ethnic group as much they are people who live in the desert. This is why they are called Arab, which means the word Arab means Bedouin who live in the desert. In other way, they are the savage, wild people. So the Aramaic they call whoever live in the desert Arab. Whoever live in the top of the hills, they call him Aram. This is why they are the Aramaic. They occupy 
high heels or let us say high heels mount like uh, uh, high heels uh, 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 locations and those are the Aramaic the Aram and those who live in the desert those are the Arab so based on the Aramaic language if you live in Arizona according to the Aramaic you are an Arab for you live in the desert and you are a desert person I made a video about it with all the reference you can go and watch it and search for it I think it is in Arabian Prophet account or Christian Prince not sure so here in front of us the verses confirm that Abraham and his two children's from their seeds will be the prophethood how the Muslims they can solve this problem but anyone remember why Muhammad is making such a mistake getting himself busted who knows why Why Muhammad saying from the children of Isaac and Jacob are the prophets? Why he said that? You want to help me? No, because he is a hypocrite in front of the Jews. He is trying to play a Jew. Muhammad is the same as Obama. You know, Obama, when he have election, he speak in front of Muslims in Cairo. He read Quran for them. He go to Jerusalem. He wear a hat of a Jew. He go to the church. He prays the Bible and he prays Jesus. He he sit with the atheists. He make fun of the Bible. Obama and Muhammad is exactly the same. Both of them, they are liars and they serve one master, the devil. So Muhammad now is speaking to the Jews and he lived between the Jews and he knew that the Jews will not even consider Ishmael if he say that word they will be angry so Muhammad wanted to confirm to them that I believe in the same what you believe so he started giving them words they like to hear who is your best Isaac and Jacob here we go we made a verse about it what is from Isaac and Jacob prophethood from their seed here we go we confirm that and what you don't like Ishmael we drop him down forget about Ishmael Ishmael go home bingo this is a 100% verse to sweet the Jews But my making this verse, Muhammad, he got himself spanked badly because you just confirmed to us that we made. Remember, guys, who is who is mentioned in this chain, in this chain of names? Who? Abraham, <clears throat> Isaac, and Jacob. Let us let us do this. Hold on. <coughs> let us do this. The first name here is Abraham. Now we cannot make this one big. Hold on. Let us see. Abraham. Then after that, the second name in the list is Isaac. Well, oh, I'm typing in Arabic. Hold on. <laughs> All right.
and then this the third name let us make another arrow is Jacob and here we have the name of Ishmael totally dropped even though Ishmael is the first son of Abraham remember that that's very important because you know it might happen that because he is the last son maybe he did not mention he mentioned the elder but no this is the oldest son so he have to be mentioned first and then the Quran confirm from Abraham from Isaac from Jacob is going to be what from those names we will have the offspring of a prophethood and revelation All right. From those three, we will have the offspring and revelation, which means there's no other person will give revelation except those three names. That's wonderful. That's mean Muhammad is a scam. And that's mean all the plan of Muhammad, Muhammad and the Muhammadan are destroyed. For where is Ishmael, who the Muslims, they claim that Muhammad is coming from him. Remember, remember, the Quran did not say, the Quran did not say the word Abraham in the verse that's very important too you see the word Abraham here is between two bracket so when the Quran is speaking about the offspring which is going to be the prophethood from he is speaking only about Isaac and Jacob you know what I mean Are you getting the idea? So even the Quran make it more limited. Let me make a snapshot so we can get back to it later. So the Quran make it more complicated and more hard on the Abdul to defend because here in the verse there is no Abraham. There's no Abraham. There is Isaac and Jacob, and the, from their seeds, we made the prophethood. So here he mentioned Jacob, he mentioned Isaac, and those are the seed he want to speak about next, which is from their seed is going to be the prophethood. So when the Muslim Abdul going back to his post, saying that the Messiah or the Bible speak that the salvation will come from the Jews this is is confirmed in your Quran are we following guys you see how we get them busted they try to make fun of the Bible saying eh, salvation coming from the Jews you're right that is in your Quran you idiot I hope you are enjoying my spanking. Let us continue. We go back to the Abdul post in Facebook. Then this Abdul, he said, coming to get eternal life, this is what Jesus reported to have said according to John 73. This is the way to have eternal life, to know you the only true God and Jesus the one you sent to earth hold on hold on hold on just to show you how smart the Abdul are 
Abdul are my favorite intelligent department. I actually I get my intelligence from there. Every week I go and buy some intelligence from the Abdul. Just to show you how the Muslim Abdul he just just shot himself not in the foot, but in the you know in there. You will see here with me. He just quoted that Jesus Christ, the one you sent to where. Guys, somebody tell me to where? To earth. Oops. Oops. Any Muslim can explain to me? If Jesus is just a human being like everybody, what do you mean he was sent to earth? Are you Muslims teaching us, according to your understanding, that Jesus is from the Jew, but yet he is from other galaxy? Which means there is a Jew there? All what they care for, that the verse saying that he was sent, but they will not focus that he was sent to the earth. Sent from where to where? Sent from heaven. So Jesus, before his birth, he was where? He was in heaven. What does that mean? Jesus is not from this earth. Do you Muslims believe that Jesus is not from this earth? <clears throat> Any Abdul? Is it Jesus who said, my kingdom is not in this earth? Isn't it that Jesus who said that? And that in the same book you are quoting for us from, just the second chapter? Chapter 18. Jesus said, My kingdom is not of this world. So thank you, Abdul, for giving us a hand to get you busted again and show you that Jesus is not a prophet of God. For a prophet of God have to come from the seed of Abraham and from the seed of Jacob and from the seed of Isaac, as the Quran reported that we showed you. But you just quote for me a verse stating that Jesus is not from this earth. And actually, if we go in the Bible, that will confirm it even better. Let us go there and get the Abdul busted more and more. You will see here... <clears throat> The Messiah who is sent to the earth who accomplished the work of God. What is the work the Messiah he accomplished? Let us count the accomplished work by the Messiah. Shall we? We will not use the Bible to get the Abdul busted. I use always the Quran to get them busted as you know. If we go in the Quran, Yeah, my favorite way to get the Abdul busted is the Quran. I don't do what other Christians do, sorry. <clears throat> uh, hmm. Oops. I hate it when you type like for five minutes and you are not looking at the screen. And then you look, you find yourself, you are typing in the wrong language. Unbelievable. Let's see here. Read with me carefully. <clears throat> what is the mission of Jesus according to the Quran? <clears throat> Chapter 3, verse number 49. See, we have only 130 people watching joining us because people they are watching the wedding I wonder what they will do when the divorce will happen 
I think I would have the place here is empty. You know, once I was, I was in the Philippines, and uh, a guy, uh, he's a photographer. He was doing a birthday party, and you know, we are sitting in a side of the big room, so we are not from the birthday party. So the guy is giving a card, <clears throat> and says, "Sir, sir, if you would like, if you have a party, call me." You know, he's a photographer. I said, "Do you like?" Uh, he said, "We do." I said, "What do you do?" He said, "We do wedding, uh, birthday, uh, etc." So I said to him, "Do you do divorce?" He said, "What?" He said, "Do you do divorce party?" The guy he was like, everybody was looking at me like, "What this guy is talking about?" <laughs> said, "Do you do divorce party?" He said, "Um, uh, no, sir. I, I never been asked to do so." He's taking it so seriously, you know. So I said, "Well, I think you should consider it." Ah. <laughs> uh, anyway. Let us see when the divorce party will be. What will happen when you marry an actor? Get ready. Your marriage will be an act. Chapter 3, verse number 49. Bingo, Yusuf Ali. <clears throat> and appoint him a messenger to the children of Israel. And here I want you to take a, take a note about the statement of Allah. According to the Quran, the Messiah was sent to the messenger as a messenger to the people of Israel. Now, here, I cannot resist the temptation of spanking Muhammad again. Because in the Quran, the Quran speak about the book of Isa. And he called it in jail. Chapter 3, verse number 3. Bingo. How Isa is a person was sent to the Jews, but yet his book is called in jail. Any Muslim have an idea? <clears throat> Do you see the word in jail? Is the word in jail is a word the Jews they consider as part of their language? Hmm? So imagine the Quran, the stupid maker of the Quran. He claimed that Jesus was a messenger only to the Jews, but yet his book name is the Chinese. I am a messenger for the Filipinos, and my book name is Ching Pong. Like, what the heck, sir? What happened? I thought you are a messenger to us, so speak the Gallop. What the name of the book again? Uh, sorry, I cannot repeat. It's very hard. You know, it's Chinese. So he is a messenger to the Israeli, but yet his book name is a Greek name. I mean, who is the donkey here? Do we have any Abdul here? Anyone can explain to me what's happening? The guy, as I know, that if you are a messenger to the Jews, you say to them, Shalom, Salam Alikum, huh? or you speak like a Jew, Habibi, 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 do you want to take a mortgage? If you want to take a mortgage, we can give you a very good interest. Speak like a Jew. They are, he is a messenger to the Jew, but yet he is book, is a Greek book? If the title of the book is a Greek, that's my that's mean Muhammad is speaking about a Greek book. Do we have any Abdul? Mayday, Mayday. Abdul is needed. Mayday, Mayday. I love the Abdul. 
I love them. They are the most smart, amazing people. As you see, in every step we move in this statement made by Muhammadan, we find that Muhammad is getting busted wherever he goes and whatever he say. It's the same as the story of Moses. You see, guys, don't the Muslims, they say to us that Moses was a messenger for the Jew? Correct? Don't they say that? Then we go in the Quran, we find that Moses was sent as a messenger to Pharaoh and he invited him to convert to Islam. <laughs> How he is a messenger to the Jew and Moses and, and Aaron, they were sent to, uh, to Pharaoh asking him to convert. كَذَبْ بِآلِ فَرَعَوْنَ وَالَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ كَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا فَأَخَذَهُمُ اللَّهُ بِذُنُوبِهِمْ وَاللَّهُ شَرِيرُ الْعِقَابِ Chapter 3, verse number 11. Pharaoh, he did not believe. Like, who is the one who is telling a Pharaoh to believe? Moses. But I thought Moses is just a messenger to the Jews. Do you see, do you see, do you see the stupidity of the, 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 the Muhammad religion? If Moses was only a messenger to the Jews, why the Pharaoh is not believing in Moses and what the business of Pharaoh anyway? That's mean Moses he invited him to believe. Is that right? Do we have any Muslim? Do we have any Muslim in the bushes? You know, guys, I was thinking maybe you can hire me to be a messenger for an open buffet business. I like this job. As long you know you give me the privilege that when I go to the open buffet uh, I will eat as much as I can okay I will deliver the message and the message simply is a uh, I will say anything from the Quran like uh, Shalom huh? Assalamu Alaikum even the word Assalamu Alaikum is not Islamic it's a theft it is a theft from the Jews Salamu Alaikum this is not an Islamic greeting it is a lie the Muslim they keep repeating what the angels they say to Mary when they came to her salamu alaikum oh Mary that is what is the Bible says the thief Muhammad he stole the word Islam from Musaylama the word Muslim from Musaylama the word salamu alaikum from the Jews the everything everything he have is a is a theft from somebody there is nothing genuine in this cult. But how you can expect a cult to be genuine? I mean, are you crazy? Do we have any Muslim would like to call me? We go back to what this Abdul he said to us just to get him the last punch in his uh, bum. The problem that is Christians do not know the true God, but instead knowing the true God, they keep knowing only Jesus, who is a false God, and ignore that it was God who sent Jesus to earth. You see that again he repeat the same mistake. God he sent Jesus to earth. So was Jesus according to Islam an angel? Because the second you say that Jesus was sent down to earth. That mean Jesus is already exist, and that mean Jesus is not from the earth. Who is the Muslim when I explain to us the stupidity of the Muslims? Same time, when the Quran and we showed you the verses where Allah He said to Mary that He is the Word of God sent down to you. He was the Word of God in heaven. But yet he was a person, 
as the word of God for God and his word is one and to prove that we will show you you idiot Abdul the answer from the same chapter you quote for me because if you go down three verses few verses more you will see the following let us read you will see here Jesus said in verse number five now you glorify now glorify me my father in union with yourself in what in what in union how come the Abdul did not quote for us that verse if Jesus is the false God as he said how Jesus can be a union with the Father if Jesus is just a prophet how the prophet is in union with his God do we have any Muslim In union with yourself in that glory which I had listen carefully what the Muslims will not quote for you because they are a followers of the devil in that glory which I had in union with you before the universe was Wow Wow and this is stupid is saying to us I can prove to you from this chapter that Jesus is not God Jesus just said that he exists in a union with the father before the universe was exist do you see how stupid this person is who is trying to claim that Jesus is a false God and yet the Muslim they say to you I challenge you to show me one verse where Jesus said I am God worship me this is a chapter this is the Bible of John chapter 17 and we are reading right now verse number five do you see how stupid the Muslims are when they try to deny Jesus and they they themselves they supply us with the animation to make their God Allah like my door screen full of holes every verse in every word in that chapter we are reading from is a bullet against Islam exactly my brother Cole Imagine I say to you, I am a person who claimed to be a prophet, and then I say to you, I am in union with God before the universe was created. That's mean me and God is one, and I am exist as simple as that before all of you, including the universe, is created. So Jesus here, he not only he claim to be exist before the universe is exist, he claimed that he is in union with the creator of the universe and he and the father is one this is when one 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 of his apostles he said to him why you don't show us the father and that's it he said i am with you all this time and you do not know me so when a muslim abdul try to squeeze himself as the as the angel Jibreel he squeezed his prophet to make him read but he could not read you do your best trying to squeeze yourself Muslims to make Jesus not the one to be believed in but the fact 
the more you squeeze yourself the more you get yourself busted this is the guy <clears throat> we are talking about and we are refuting and we got him busted today uh, <clears throat> here we go his name is Zahari Bayig, uh, whatever. <laughs> and by the way, he's debating me there still. <laughs> and he says to me, I'm not going to call you because you will not let me do. I don't debate Muslims, I spank them. And you've just been spanked harshly. You've been spanked and your bum is red the same as the bum of your prophet and by the way why I am saying that the bum of the prophet we are done with this guy let's close his uh, why I'm saying that the bum of the prophet uh, <clears throat> is red don't take me wrong please 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 the Muslims confirmed to us that the Prophet he used to clean his bum with three rocks. Three what? Three rocks. I challenge any Muslim to make an experiment in YouTube. Cleaning his bum with the three rocks and let us see if your bum will not bleed and turn red like a monkey rocks <clears throat> will make you <clears throat> will make you bleed <clears throat> if you use rocks in that area simply you will bleed as simple as that you know one of the funny things uh, <clears throat> they say to you that uh, the Prophet was a very clean person let me see if I can find you some hadith about that. How clean he was. Unbelievable. I cannot find this hadith in English, sadly. Uh, there is a hadith where Muhammad he you know he always do poo poo, but he never wash his hands before he eat. But let us see. Maybe we can find you a different one. Yeah, but they give us a speech is about the manner. The prophet, he taught us manner. Even the manner of a cleaning. We taught that by the prophet. You are right. The prophet was full of lies. <clears throat> Here we go. That Allah Apostle, may Allah pray on him and salute him, come out of the priv uh, privy with the bathroom after re re relieving himself. And the food was brought to him and he took it and he did not touch the water. Do you see it, Muslims? You're a prophet. He, he just finished touching his ass cleaning himself and now he is grabbing the food without touching the water do you see it <clears throat> why the muslims lick their finger because the prophet he said to them lick your fingers <laughs> uh, 
Oh boy. <clears throat> Uh, <clears throat> let me find you the hadith. <clears throat> My throat is dry, sorry. <clears throat> Actually, there's a chapter, there's a chapter in Sahih al Bukhari, it's called the chapter of sucking your fingers or licking your fingers. You believe it? The chapter, the chapter name. And actually, the Muslims they teach that if you cannot. Like let's say you don't want to lick your fingers, you can ask one of your slaves to lick it for you. You believe it? <clears throat> when the messenger of Allah, B B B U H B M W Mercedes Benz finished eating his food, he would look, he would lick his fingers, his three fingers, three fingers. The prophet he have only three fingers. He lick only three fingers. What about the rest? Abdul, read with me, please. <clears throat> he would lick his three fingers, i.e., the forefinger in the middle. Middle finger and the thumb. He B B U H said, "Look how big the B B U H." If any of you a drop a piece of food, he should remove anything harmful from it and eat it. So Muhammad is teaching the Muslims that when you finish eating, you lick your fingers, and then if a drop of a food fell down on the ground. Take it and like wipe it with something and swallow it. He should not leave it for shaitan. Oof, 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 oof. Guys, if you drop a piece of food in the floor, which is very dirty, and God, like imagine you are walking in a walk in the street, and how many shoes they went over this uh, this uh, spot, and then uh, a part of your sandwich falafel fell down. What do you do? You grab it, you eat it, otherwise you are leaving it for shaitan. This is the manner of being healthy and being clean. And then he ordered them to lick the dishes. You see here they say to clean the dishes. What to clean the dishes? He's talking about clean licking. Why? Because you do not know in which partition of your food the blessing lies. What? There's a blessing in the food in partition of the food, not in the other food. So, in order to make them lick their dishes, by the way, why Muhammad is, is saying all those things? Because people they are looking at him. What this guy is doing? He's cheap. He's licking the dish. So explain to them why he is, you know, the uh, not only that like in different hadith, a fly fell down in his soup. A fly fell down in his soup. Muhammad, he did not throw the fly or throw the, 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 the food. He sucked the soup. And the Muslims and the Arab are looking at him like, what the heck? Nobody did that before. So Muhammad, to explain to them why he did that, he come with his own fabrication. And you know the funny, the Muslim, they say the Jews are cheap. Nobody is cheap as Muhammad. This is very cheap. The Prophet said, if a fly falls into the vessel of one of you, let him dip, dip it in. Like, what? If a fly fell in my soup, I will dip it? <laughs> Why he's saying that? Because a fly fell in his soup, and everybody was expecting him to throw it away. What Muhammad did, 
he continued drinking and he tried to hide it from the eyes of others he tried his best to hide it he thought nobody saw it so he was pushing the fly down with his finger and drinking the soup but he looked up and everybody is looking at him so he said okay okay um if a fly fell down in your soup uh dip it dip it dip it dip it and look he was he says he continues saying narrated abu Huraira said Allah Messenger S A W. I mean, Muslims, why sometimes S A W, sometimes P B U H? I mean, what is that, man? Can't you like make a code and that's it? H B F O huh? U F O, the Prophet U F O. I mean, this is better. Actually, we should say that the Messenger U F O said, when a fly fails in the drink of one of you. He should fully, fully dip it in. I mean, look at this, guys. I mean, this guy is a very scientific in details. Look, he did not say dip it. He said fully. <laughs> I mean, there's a huge difference between dip it and fully. Abdul, the whole fly is a fly. Do you know how big the fly is? What do you mean fully? Was Muhammad expecting you that to dip the fly and still her Zaraf head is up? I mean, it's a fly. So what do you mean fully or half? What do you mean? Like you Muslims can't dip half of it? She's already in the soup. What do you mean fully? He was eating, misses a fly, she jumped in his soup, and she started doing her job, yummy, yummy, taking a shower and eating the food. The prophet, he cannot throw the food, man. He's a cheap person. So what he did, he inserted his finger in the soup and he pushed the fly down in order to hide it so the Arab around him, they will not notice that he's a filthy man drinking the soup with the fly is in it. But the fly is coming up and he push it again and coming up and push it again. He can't just take it and throw it away right away. He's, he need to hide it. And the Arab saw that. So Muhammad, he come, come with, the, with an idea. And look at the idea. Science, this is a pure science. So he should fully dip it, uh huh, and then throw it. Look at the wisdom, man, away because there is a disease in one of its wings. What that's amazing, astonishing how the prophet he knew that. Actually, we better, we better, you know, uh, talk about this maybe tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow is Sunday. I don't do live podcast. The fly. The fly. If it come to your soup, dip it. Because there is a disease in one wing and there is a medicine in one wing. The wing? The fly, she is hiding the disease in her wing? Imagine, guys, if Muhammad, he said, there is a disease in her legs. The Muslim, they will make a scientific videos about it and they will make a movie because they will say science prove that most of the germs, they stuck on the hair of the legs. Muhammad saying that the disease is in the wings. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Oh boy, we have a storm. And you know what? I think I, I left my windows open. <laughs> oh boy. Hold on, hold on. Man, we have a very bad storm. Look at this. Hold on. Let me get you something for now. By the time I get something for you, my house will be will be flooded. Hold on.
All right. Oh, man. A lot of rain. Crazy. Uh, did you hear the thunder, guys? Did you hear the thunder? Who of you remember the thunder is coming from where? According to Muhammad. Anyone remember? Where is the thunder is coming from? Do remember? The one who remember, I'm going to give him a copy of Windows 95 as a give out. I mean, I do not know what to do with it. I have a CD here. I want to get the copy of nine, Windows 95. <laughs> Nobody knows? Okay. I don't want to change the topic. What is that? A warning. Oh, boy. Looks like we would have a crazy rain. Hold on, hold on. In the Quran, in chapter 13, verse number 13, Muhammad, he claimed that the angels, the thunder, the thunder is an angel. The thunder is an angel. Remember that. Quran 13, verse number 13. And the thunder, this is an angel who is in charge of the cloud. I mean, what do you want more science? The fly fell in your soup, soup, you know. Well, you know, you can dip it, dip it, and uh, that's it. I mean, what, what's wrong? Right? So Muhammad, he explained to us here a very scientific uh, uh, statement about what is the thunder. What is the thunder? I always love to listen and to look at the thunderbolt. I never imagined that thunder is an angel. And he lead the cloud and they ask the prophet and what is about the fire we see he said this is his fire built he beat the cloud with it he beat what he beat the cloud with it he unleashes the thunderbolts these are a fire which issue forth from the cloud and submit with them whom he will such that burn that person. Allah is talking. We can go to different interpretation if you want. Like if you go to Ibn Kathir, it's even more funny. The thunder, etc. He prays, he by his command, and it is an angel. And it also said, it is the voice of the sky. And also the angels, him in his praise of the awi uh, of him, 
The angels have a way toward Allah. He launches the thunderbolt, i.e., the fire submit with he whom you will destroy, blah blah blah, etc. But we can go and find more interpretation. You will see it's how things getting more crazy and more more mad with this man Muhammad. You know, my friend, Islam is a very rational religion, but this rational religion or logical religion, it's beyond your imagination. This is why you find it funny. I like the sound of the rain and the thunder. As long as we are not we are talking about the thunder. The Quran confirm where Allah he uh, where he made or where he produce, or where he receive the 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 eye the ice, or let's say the hail. Let us see min jibarin. In this chapter in front of us, the God of the Quran claim that Allah He sent the hail. From mountains in heaven, chapter 24, verse number 43. Mountains in heaven. All right. All right, here we go. He sent down from the heaven mountains wherein there is hail. He says he sent down hail from mountains in heaven. I mean, you guys are wondering how hail come to existence. You are wondering how thunder and what thunder is about all those things which is not discovered yet was explained in the Quran 1400 years ago. Why you cannot believe in this amazing religion? This is science, my friend. Muhammad, he was speaking to a bunch of idiots around him. And at his time, at that time, people do not know really what hail is coming from. But I understand where Muhammad is getting those stories from. There's a book, it's called the Book of Enoch. This is not the name of the Bible. This is a fabricated book, the Book of Enoch. This book speaks that God, he have a warehouse, and every house have a, a housekeeper. So he have a house for eyes. He have, you know, like there is a, there is a, there is, there, there is warehouse where God, he sent things from there to us. And that explain why Muhammad he speak as an example that Allah he sent down cloth to us. Even the feather of the chicken was sent down from the warehouse of Allah in heaven. It's sent down. It's not a metaphorical. It's sent down. And to make it simple, يا بني آدم قد أنزلنا عليكم رباسا يوري سوءاتكم وريشا ولباس التقوى. Chapter seven verse number twenty six. Muslims, as I know, I never saw an Arab man. He is wearing feather. Where is where is the feather? The word feather is gone in the translation. I don't know what happened. Let us see different translation. Okay. 
we have indeed sent down to you clothing to cover your shame and the clothing for beauty where is the feather it says feather there what's wrong with the translation it says feather feather and that made me feel more happy i feel like a red indian native american indian where is the feather i cannot find it in translation let us go to big tal where is the feather muslims what's what's happening here i i don't see the the the, the feather what happened why this uh, increase any abdul why the word feather disappear from the translation I, there is something wrong here let us see uh, i don't know what's wrong I don't see it. I know what's happening. Any Muslim can tell me what happened? Let us go to this website. Maybe we can find a solution here. Mm -hmm. This guy here, the word reach is not even appearing once. <sighs> okay, let's see Libasan. Okay. All right, let us see a translation in this website. Hoping that here we can find the solution. This is a website, have any translation in it. This is why I'm going to use it. All right. Until now, I don't see the water, the word feather. Where is the word feather? I don't see feather. What? There's no feather. What happened to the feather? Any Muslim can explain to me what is the word feather? Are you Muslims ashamed that your God Allah described you as a chicken and he cover you by feather? Where is the? I don't see it. Not even a single translation saying the word feather. Where is the word feather? What? There is no feather. Very disappointing. Where? Remind, what is that? Muslim, do you see the word reach? If we take the word here to Google translation, Google translation, hold on, let me open Google translation. I'm very disappointed, not even a one single Muslim translation saying the correct and the honest. You know what? Hold on, why we are doing this? Why when I go to Google translation anyway? Hold on, I have a better solution. Uh, we go here, 726. Let us see if the, wo the word feather will appear. Oh look at here we have we have everything except the word feather. Where is the word feather? Now we have wool, cotton, clothes. What the heck? Where is the word feather, man? What happened? Let us change. Allah he sent me my my uh, Allah he sent Victoria's secret for us. It is Allah who sent our clothes to us. And he did not send it as cotton, he sent it as a clothes. This is what the Quran is saying. There is a seat of Sirah Jalalain. Maybe the word feather will appear there. Children of Adam, we send the word the garment to create. Okay, cancel. Well, where is the word feather? I mean, the word feather in a miraculous way disappear. Unbelievable. Very disappointing. 
false translation. There was a feather in one of the translation reading. I did miss it. Which okay, hold on. Let me go back. I did miss one. Which one? Okay, I will go slow. I will go slow. Which one? Which one? Where is the word feather? Where? I don't see it. Anyone see the word feather? I don't see it. Where? Ta -da -da. Where is the word feather? I cannot see it. Anyone see it? Not yet. Okay, tell me when you see it. Tell me which translation. Well, you know, just copy the name for me. The name is the one in blue, like here. You know. Tell me which one. Restored remnant. Okay, etc. Adornment and righteousness. Blah blah blah. Okay, where is Arbery? Where is Arbery? Oh, here. Send down to your garment to cover your shame for it. Ah, ha! Ah, how I missed that. I mean, how I did miss that. Here we go. We found it finally. A Muslim, an honest Muslim, finally, he told us the word feather. We found it. Muslims, how your God say such a stupid thing? You see, if we the Arab, we are people who dress like the Red Indian. I understand. We Arab, we dress feathers? Or maybe your God, he think we are a bunch of a chicken. You dress feather? How you dress the feather? Since when? However, the Quran stating that Allah is the one who sent us the clothes down. The Muslim they will say, no, 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 this is not a met this is a metaphorical. We can get them busted with this. Why? Because the same verses they use for us, speaking about Allah, He sent the, down the iron, and the Muslim they make a scientific miracle of it. They say that science prove that most of the iron is created, or did it say it came to us from the space? The same verses. Anyway, with the with the feather issue, we welcome any Muslim. If, if there is any Muslim would like to call me and say something. By the way, for those who they were waiting for my German book, the one which we said it was not available yet in Amazon.de. If you click at the video info, you will find the link for it so you can order it. In case you are a person who speak German, all right. Do we have any Abdul? Anyone? If you take hadith, you break Islam. My friend, there's no Islam. There's no Islam in the hadith, and there's no Islam in the in the in the Quran. Where we can find Islam? Where we can find Islam? What Islam? Who's Allah? Nowhere in the Quran explain to us even who is Allah. And no. Do we have any Muslim would like to call me? Any Muslim would like to call? Anyone? All right. Look like the Muslims are shy, but I would take that that you Muslims accept that you have no answers for this cult. Obviously, this cult is a stupid cult, and you cannot really de 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 defend this religion. Anyone who is a Muslim is willing to give us a call, please. I want Muslims only to call me. Who is a Muslim is willing to give us a call? 
my Skype is open and I will be happy to receive your call. <clears throat> we have Mac Prince Islam. Is that guy is a Muslim? I'm not sure. Anyone? Hello? Who is a Muslim would like to say something to us? Not even one? Who is a Muslim? <clears throat> I will not ask you questions. You give me anything you wish to talk about as a topic. Which means you are the one, the question is going to be yours. And we go from there. Anyone? I will not ask you a question. You ask me. I mean, come on, that's easier. You you investigate. What do you what do you think? You ask me the question, I answer you. How easy I can make it more than this. And after you win the debate, we will give you two kilograms, two kilograms of feather, sent and shipped for free by Allah. Anyone? Even asking me question, you don't want to do it. You ask me the question. I'm not going to ask you. No? Okay. Well, I don't know. I'm disappointed that your Muslims don't want to do so. Let me encourage the Muslims and make them call us. Hold on. I think I know how to make Muslims call us and get more excited to call. Okay, any Muslim he call us right now, I will be happy to contact this gym to allow you to practice sport with them. Who is the Muslim he is willing to do so? Those, I cannot guarantee you if they are virgin or not. Allah knows best. I don't know really if they are virgin or not. However, I think you will be so happy to join this team. All what you need to do, call me and debate me. And if you want the debate, I will call this team to accept you as a member in their sport team. And you never know if we have a hot debate, maybe those girls, they will change even their clothes and it's going to be shorter. Any Muslim now is encouraged to give us a call. Anyone? Do you know, guys, that the most successful videos in YouTube is sponsored by Muslims, like unboxing bikini. Unboxing bikini, uh, my new bra, uh, my new whatever. I'm, I'm really woman. I saw a video being seen by 32 million. Um, a woman, she is showing her new lingerie 32 million, and I have 153 people watch listening to me. I mean, life is fair, life is fair. We have to admit, man. Any one of those girls, she make a video, in two minutes, 
she will have more review from all the view I will make in the coming year in all my videos. That is the reality. Mankind, filthy, crazy. Do we have any Abdul? I, I, I guess nothing is working. We would for them, even those girls, and nothing is working. Let me change it then. You know, let let us uh, let us switch it and talk about the story of uh, of a prophet Solomon. Prophet Solomon who lost his kingdom because he lost his uh, ring. True story. Anyone? I know what to talk about. What what's wrong with you, Muslims? I'm I'm very flexible with you. You want to talk about gym issue? We can talk about the gym. Name for me any three words of your choice, and I will give you a story from the Islamic books. Will make you ashamed of your religion. Just three words, anything. Even if you say microwave. Oh, did I say microwave, guys? Do you know that Muhammad is the first one who discovered microwave? The prophet, he said. Did I say the Prophet? We should not say that. We should say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which means Allah pray on him and salute him, for he is God and Allah is his servant. The Prophet said that if a Muslim man he wished to have a baby, he will be breathed and he will deliver it, and he, his son, will have teeth, all of this in one hour, which is the fastest microwave ever. Actually, charging your phone take more than one hour. If you want to charge your phone, it takes you more than one hour at least, if not two hours. How the microwave of Allah can make you, you as a Muslim man, deliver a baby. And by the way, Muslims, how you are a man and you will be breathed in the heaven? Because the Quran, the Hadith says, uh, 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 you will deliver the baby. You, you, you will deliver the baby. How you will deliver the baby? From where? And who will make you breathe it? Let me get the hadith so the Muslim they will not say I'm making things up. Hold on. You know them. Let us go to the hadith. Here we go. Look with me, please. Look, look. Amazing. So beautiful. The prophet of wisdom. When the believer wants a child in paradise, he will be conceived. Like, what the heck? What? He, what do you mean he? He will be conceived hmm, and born. Uh, hold on, hold on. Translation is not right. I mean, what he were born? What? Hold on, hold on. It says here, is a shtahalu waladu waladu fi jannah kana hamluhu wadu fi sa. If the believer he wished to have a child, so who is the one who will be breathed? The believer. And the one who will be pregnant with it is the believer. Here they're saying he will be conceived. No, this is not what the Arabic says. His conceived will be, and the baby will be born and growing up in a short period. What is the period? Fast translation. It says fi sa'a wahida. Sa'a wahida in the time of Muhammad is equal to 20 minutes, not one hour actually. Read carefully with me here. This is better translation. Uh, the Messenger of Allah, S A W U F O, said, an identified object. The believer, when he desire a child, he shall be carried in the pregnancy and born and complete 
in an hour as he desire Eww. that's deep and you Muslim want to get to bread net and what your prophet mean if you wish to have a baby is that like something you wish and then you get a bread net don't you see that there's a six missing here who is going to have sex with you first and you as a Muslim man you will deliver the baby from where and as you see actually in different hadith it says that this baby he will have a growing he, he, he will be a growing person he's a complete person and he have teeth he have hair this baby is not small he will be growing person in one hour how you can deliver such a person No, this is in heaven. Uh, uh, typer, type, 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 pee, pee, beer. This is in heaven. This is not on earth. In heaven, you have a microwave where you wish, the, but the microwave is inside the human, inside the, the man. Inside his stomach, there's a microwave. We'll, we'll, it's a faster processor, you know? So you wish to have a baby. Allah will put something there, you know? Boom, boom, boom. And then he, the man, the Muslim man, get a bread net. And all of this will happen in less than a sa'a. Sa'a in the Arabic language today mean an hour. This is a false translation. In the time of Muhammad, the word sa'a is used to speak about something between 15 to 20 minutes. So all of this will happen in less than 15 to 20 minutes. And by the way, this is proven by science. Actually, most of my friends in the Middle East, they are born and their their mother they get a bread net with them in less than like five minutes that's why i have a friend his name uh, is abdul you know when he was born like he came out but he have like two fingers are missing so his mom she put him back put him in the microwave again until his fingers like put together and she took him out and this is a true story but those things happen only for us as arab they don't happen to you you see we are different we are really different. we are like a we are we are UFO. We are identified objects. You know, nobody knows how we are made. We are Arab. I can't explain that to you. I mean, it's not your fault. It's not to be. I'm not. By the way, I'm not being a racist. By the way, I mean, it's not your fault not being a beautiful Arab like us. I mean, it's your destiny. What you can do about it? We are the best. We are the only nation, if a fly failed in the soup, we dip it, dip it, dip it, and we drink it. Who can do that? Nobody. The only nation who... I don't want to say those things. I mean, you guys, you might get jealous and you, you might invade us. You know, even the prophet, by the way, he spoke about being invade, like invade. Uh, how you can control somebody or invade somebody, according to Muhammad? Simply, you get... Like the, sh the the thing you tie your shoe with, you know what those things you tie your shoe with the old style, and then you make a knot, and then you blew in it, <laughs> and then you control that person. This is can be found in chapter one thirteen, verse number four. And by the way, this is proven by science. So if there is any of you want to invade somebody, hmm, you do that. Read, read with me. I'm not. This is the Quran. Respect, please. Show respect. Show respect. You see, guys. I know somebody. He made fun of the Quran. He slept as a handsome person. He woke up, looked like Christian prince. I mean, can you? Do you want that to happen to you? Do you want that ha to happen to you? You wake up like Christian prince. <laughs> no. He insulted Allah. He made fun of the Quran. He got punished right away. Yeah. See, I so, shut up. Show respect, racist people. I guarantee you that those people who they are making fun of me in this love, they are white people. They are racist. I seek refuge with the Lord of the Dawn. The Lord of the Dawn. Sounds like an action movie. We can make a name of a movie of this. The Lord of the Dawn. Ish. Sound like a Chinese Ching Fong, so, you know, like the samurai, they fly in the wind, and the guys, like, I mean, those are the most funny movies. People are flying all over. <laughs> Remind me when I used to be in the Middle East, like mosquitoes all over, man. 
from the mischief of created things from the mischief of darkness as overspreads oof, 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 oof. from the mischief of who practice secret what the translation this translation this translation ate the whole chapter there's nothing here where is the knots where is the bots where what's wrong with you muslims let us change the translator oh this is better say i seek refuge in the lord of the dawn from the evil of what he has created who is the one who created the evil allah he is the lord of the day okay and from the evil of utterly dark night when it comes <laughs> and from the evil of who blow on the knots <laughs> Guys, we are up. If you go in the Middle East, I will take you. I will take you. All of you. I will take you with me. One way ticket. We can mean don't ask me why there's no two ways. You will not come back anyway. They will kidnap you from the first day. So we will go there and I will show you how we blow knots and what we do with the knots. Hmm, let me tell you. As an example, now we the Arab, we are in war with Israel. So how we can fight Israel? We make knots and we blow like woof, 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 and the Israeli man are destroyed. Every day in the morning, we wake up, we found that Netanyahu is jumping like a monkey. We are the only people in the world who fight and win the war by knots. Be careful. Be careful. If I get angry from any of you, I will make a nut for you. I will drive you nuts. <laughs> oh boy, true story. You see, Muhammad here is a, is a person who is a superstition person, and he says stupid things. And the Muslims believe in whatever he says. That's why the Muslims now believe in all those garbage. You know, all this garbage they believe in it strongly. You cannot say even. I, I mean, like. Muslim don't dare to say that this is false because the second he say it is mentioned the Quran. You know? Do we have any Abdul here in the bushes? Hey Muslims, why you don't make so for me some knots? I mean, you hate me to death. And the Quran obviously is giving you a method of doing evil to someone. Why you don't do some knots for me? Hmm? What about doing some nuts to Trump, to George Bush? Huh? Why you are attacking the Christians like today? The Muslims they attack in Chechnya for Abdul, peaceful Abdul. They attack a church, Orthodox church in Chechnya, hoping they can kill as many as they kill they can in the church. But God helped those people and He saved them. Why, instead of killing people by the sword, attacking civilian women and children in a church, why you don't make for us a knot? A knot will solve the problem. What a crazy religion. Every Sunday, we hear about an attack happened by the Muslim, peaceful religion of Islam. Every. How many people died last week in the name of Allah? You know, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new here. If you already subscribe, don't forget to unsubscribe. Because if you are a new subscriber, we will resend you a knot, and a knot nobody can solve. Most, by the way, there's many people they believe in those crazy things. But I assure you, my friend, those are stupid things you should not believe in. You are what you believe. If you believe somebody can control you, you're already controlled. If you believe that somebody can control you by what is called magic, then you are already controlled already. For he, he, the second you believe in something, you are controlled by that belief. You know what I mean? Don't make them fool you. If this is a true, I mean, how many million Muslims they hate me to death? 
why they don't make for me not you know I don't even go to a doctor I mean thank God I'm very healthy yes it's true that's my sugar is high and my blood pressure is not good and my heart is not functioning and I don't see with my eyes and I lost my hair and my lost my 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 right leg is not uh, working properly and my hands fingers is not moving in the right way in the right direction and it's true that I have uh, pimples and it's true that my tongue is sometimes goes to right when I want to send it to left but still I'm very healthy Imagine after all this description who in the world is going to marry me now <laughs> Imagine I go to a dating website and I post all this information there <laughs> Unbelievable Unbelievable crazy people crazy. Do we have any Muslim here? Anyone Any Abdul not even one i don't know very disappointing maybe maybe abdul is needed maybe maybe yeah i don't feel like my orta is getting off your right this is the only thing is missing <laughs> oh man hilarious hilarious do we have any muslim here If there is any prophecies about Islam in the Bible my friend the Messiah he spoke about false prophets in general but he spoke somehow about the Muslims you know when the Messiah he said don't pray the same as the hypocrite who pray in the corners don't fast the same as the hypocrite you know that you know when you fast wash your face etc as if the Messiah is speaking about the hypocrite Muslims today he do exactly that a Muslim he want to pray he go in the middle of a square he you know he bring a bunch of Abdul it's a show time they, they are hypocrites they do it in purpose for this is a, a nation who follow the devil because if you are praying to God I mean why you want to do that why you go into a middle of a square and suddenly you put uh, something and why, why you do that I mean what the point is is that, are you praying to God or you are showing off they are showing off when they fast everybody have to speak about their fasting a Muslim he have to tell you he's fasting and he's upset and he is unhappy and he you know don't please bother me I'm fasting a bit which means I will beat you up if you may say something more I'm fasting now I don't have patience so they love to show off so the Bible yes spoke about them right can you talk about the real father of Muhammad and I want to put it in my channel we, we better then we make a video about it alone so you can put it in your channel because this video now is already long my friend yeah but Islam Islam is not successful with their advertising unless unless you are an ignorant person this is why guys it's very important for us to teach our children if you are a person who have a children uh, if you have uh, you know a young family member they go to school and they will associate with Muslims Muslims are very well trained to deceive and to attack Christianity and your child he have no idea he cannot answer about Christianity you do not know anything about Islam so how you can protect your child this is why I advise all of you to share my videos with your children the one you find is suitable for children to share to have depending on their age and in the same time you can get my books and that will help you to educate your children you will have a handy uh, reference in your hand but don't keep your knowledge to yourself you don't want to one day your son or your daughter coming home and saying to you I wanna I am a Muslim that means that it's too late Islam is the most disgusting religion and it's going to be your fault if such a thing happened to your family and no my friend all those article about 77 and 66 those are stupid articles because who who can decide who is the Christian who's not same time uh, 
I saw a conference by the Muslims speaking about that most of those who convert to Islam they live in an average of two or three years maximum out of Islam. Some of them they stay long, stay longer, but at the end they leave Islam. So the conversion of Muslims, uh, uh, of non-Muslims to Islam, it's not really working for the benefit of Muslims because in most of the scenario, those who convert to Islam they leave Islam later. And then they turn to be more aggressive enemy to Islam because now they call themselves ex-Muslims. To give you an example, <clears throat> you know the guy, his name is Convert to Islam. Now this guy, he is not even close, not even 1%. I'm not exaggerating. I'm just stating a fact of my knowledge about Islam. But because he was a Muslim for more than 16, 17 years, and now he left Islam and making videos against Islam. He have a lot more of people watching his videos. Why? Because now he earned the title of ex-Muslim. I'm not an ex-Muslim. The second you say you are an ex-Muslim, people they get you more attention because you are coming from there. So many and most of those who convert they leave Islam anyway. However, that is not an excuse for us not. To be aware and to get ready and to protect our children and our family from the deception Muslims do. Same time, you have a duty as a Christian to save the Muslims from Islam. It's not only we want the Christians not to convert, we want the Christians to convert the Muslims into Christianity and show them how stupid this cult is. In order to do that, you have to have a knowledge. You cannot go and debate with somebody when you yourself do not know even about your book. Right? As simple as that so all of us we have a duty to do and the duty is to earn knowledge for knowledge is a priceless and will make you a different person same time the knowledge is for protection my protection your protection your family your society ignorance destroyed my nation this is what the Bible says when a person is an ignorant Anyone can make fun of you. Anyone can take advantage of you. Anyone can fool you. If those people know what Islam is about, nobody will convert. So it's not their fault. It's our fault. For we are not doing our duty to share with them. However, things is changing. And those, not only those who converted to Islam are leaving Islam, Muslims themselves, they are leaving Islam left and right. In the last 20 years, Muslims they have a huge amount of money they spend trying to convert people in the West specifically you see the Muslim don't focus really in Africa because Islam is a satanic religion it's a power magnetic religion where is the power is located in America so let us take over America by converting Europe so they don't care really about a Muslim become a Christian in Africa care he's just a poor Muslim let him go they care about converting a redhead blue eyes so they can take over a country for they are seeking power if we can convert all American to Islam who is going to be against us anyway we can announce war at anyone who says he don't want to convert and we can kill them all thank God that none of the Islamic nations is powerful to do so. Otherwise, you guys, the earth is over. If the Muslims, imagine if Iran have the power of America. Imagine if Saudi Arabia, the king of Saudi Arabia, he have the power of Trump. What will happen to this earth? Islam is a very weak stupid religion. You do not need to be a genius to destroy it when I debate a Muslim I, I Don't even consider it as a debate. You know, I'm just having fun For it's very easy To expose it As you see every page in the Quran by itself is a stupid story This is a religion have no base have no value Yesterday we showed you how the Muslim believe in renting women. I mean, what kind of religion you rent women from? What kind of religion treat the women as a rental object? Very filthy, very disgusting, very stupid. And we can destroy it very easy.
but we need to do more work this is why I keep saying invite me to your church etc share my videos download my videos you see I have some channels who have my videos they have a lot more review than me I don't get upset thank you very much download my videos make an advertising on them make money good for you for my purpose is not me I am not here the, the, the person who is seeking a glory of his own here we are here to share knowledge so when you copy my videos and you share it in your channel you know uh, this is the, the the mission accomplished you see other people on YouTube if you copy their video they flag you they report you they shut down your account because their purpose is to get subscribers for their own I don't care if even if I have one subscriber I'm happy what I care for I want people to learn yeah why not make a YouTube channel everybody have a channel why you don't have one get subscriber and you can you can get uh, advertising over it and make money good for you why not you know why not and try to be a useful person in the society using your channel to guide people to help them why not you see a person who make a, a YouTube teaching somebody how to fo fix a faucet he is doing a good work why not that's a good thing how to fix your phone how to fix your refrigerator how to fix your heater I mean those people they are doing good work good work can be done in many ways here my specialty I'm not a person I'm not I'm not qualified to teach you how to fix your faucet even though I can fix it because I'm an Arab <laughs> you know we fix faucet very easy in the Middle East we don't have water anyway so why is it going to leak I mean come on <laughs> never leak you will never find a faucet in the Middle East is leaking so you can make a channel and you can teach people wherever you can teach based in your specialty and your knowledge help people how to do things however the most important help is is helping people to understand what is God is about and how you can share let us say uh, uh, the good teaching of God the good teaching of Christ about love about ethic about giving about sharing about being assistant being helpful for people society to be part of a society not an observer only who take you see there's people who uh, go and do volunteer work to, to to feed the homeless and there's people who watch those who feed the homeless why you don't be one of those who feed the homeless what is missing in you here I feed the one who is hungry to say he's homeless in knowledge he need knowledge I give my time do what you can do copy my videos there's many ways to help or you know somebody spoke about it's time share my books as you know people when they purchase my books they sponsor my mission too you know you sponsor me either by making a donation or by buying my books so you it, it is uh, you know having the books is two side mission you spread the truth in the same you sponsor the one who is working in this mission right yeah you can you can you know my videos you see like the video today my friend have many topics we spoke about you can divide the video this is the best thing you can do because if you notice in my videos they are long and the reason they are long because simply I answer people like I am I am a person who don't just take something and talk about it I answer your life so uh, uh, we start saying something we end with something else and guys if you want to send donation please try not to send it here do it in patreon because in case you do not know YouTube takes 70 percent I don't know even how to stop this uh, this donation here you can help you can help in battery on not in YouTube YouTube they take 70 percent so now this brother here the gentleman he sent 90 uh, euro imagine the thief Google they will take 70 euro of it no they take 70 percent I I get the 30 percent I will get the seven I will get the 30 percent they will get the 70 
Okay, can you show me a link? This is what uh, I saw a, a person in YouTube speaking about that. Uh, hold on. Let us be sure. YouTube. Let us see. How much does YouTube take from every super chat donation? All right. Let us see what this website saying. Oh, here they are saying, sorry, YouTube saying that they take 30%. I don't know, this guy has said that. And other, and other time I saw somebody saying 70%. I'm not sure. Thirty percent fee YouTube takes from donation, mm. but still, this is a lot of money, you know. Still, it is it is a theft, and I saw a different website. They are saying seventy percent, so it's like uh, it's looked like very confusing. And why in the world they want to take thirty percent, even if it's thirty percent? I mean, what they did, it is a theft. So the best way, if you want to help, go to Battery on. I will see how I can stop this uh, donation option here. Um, and until now, all of you who send donation here, I did not receive a penny. I mean, when they are going to send it next year? <laughs> uh, battery on, they take about 10%, you know, which is a lot better. There's, a, there's I think there's 7% uh, fee and then there's maintenance fee. So the total is going to be like about 10%. But still, they are a lot better than uh, than uh, than this. Uh, I will see you today after I finish broadcast how I can stop this uh, donation option here, because it is really a theft. No, uh, uh, I, I don't. I don't use PayPal. Uh, Batterion is the best way, and you can do it. You, you see, in Batterion, you can make a donation. They charge. They charge. Uh, by the end of the month, they don't charge you right away. They charge by the end of the month between the first and the sixth. So let's say you want to make a donation of ten dollars. By the uh, uh, you can make a donation now. However, they will not charge you until the coming month. In the coming month, between the first and the sixth, they charge you, and then they will charge you the second month again. So if you want to do it only once, you make a donation, and you know, but before the end of the month. Or now, but then you have to cancel it. You have to cancel your subscription after the sixth of the month. It's very simple. So let us say you donate uh, the ten dollars, or if you want to donate, let's say one hundred, like this brother here, he sent uh, ninety euro. Uh, ninety euro will be more than a hundred dollar. You can say, okay, I'm going to donate to Christian Prince ten dollars a month, or ten euros a month. Don't make it like one deal. Let's say you know make it uh, for the whole year. You can run the donation, leave it. They will charge you every first of the month between the first and the sixth for ten dollars. Anytime you wish to stop donation, you log into your account and you cancel your subscription to Christian Prince. All right. But this thing here in YouTube, I don't like it. It's not really, it's not good. You will ask your local malls to donate for you. Why not? I mean, they should donate for me. I'm helping them. I'm doing my best to help the Muslims, as you see. And if you see how many Muslims they leave, they left Islam because of me. Uh, actually, I received donation from Muslims. I received donation from Muslims. I have people who they are Muslims are donating, but they are Muslims. Obviously, they are they left Islam. Like uh, you can tell from the names, you know. Uh, for sure this is uh, I mean why am why why a person his name is Muhammad is going to donate for me unless he left Islam I do not know them I do not know who is the person who make a donation you know uh, yeah there is uh, there is ex Muslims who they are Muslims by birth and they leave Islam uh, if any of you speak French, you can help us by promoting the French book. 
And then now this book, because nobody really make a video review about it, etc. So if you are a person who speak of French, you can get my book, you can make a review. You do not need to show your face. You can show the book in the front of you and talk about it and, and make the camera uh, point at the book if you want. Uh, same you can do to the Swedish book, same you can do to the German, etc. I appreciate really those who uh, sponsor what I do. For for sure, nothing in this world is for free and we need your help. Nothing is for free. Uh, when I go overseas, somebody have to pay for my ticket. Somebody have to pay for the transportation. Somebody have to pay for the hotel. Nothing is for free in this earth. Even if you die, you have to pay for your funeral. All right. Uh, so you can help us always by you know either by making donation or by uh, you know spending the, like spreading the news about my books, making a review on YouTube. Can you tr try streaming in Price Scope? I, I did. I not in Price Scope. I I tried in uh, in an. Uh, um in an app called life life me and i deleted it from my phone it worked in the phone i have about 37 people only you know which is nothing uh and i did not really feel comfortable there because imagine a girl she is wearing a short skirt she have like fifteen thousand people watching life she's just walking in the front in the kitchen wearing short very short very short you know there's a woman an old woman with my respect to everybody she was laying down in her back and she is old and she was yawning she have 300 something people watching i am speaking about islam with all my knowledge i have 37 people <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> a woman laying down in her back and she's an old woman she's not like you know showing something like the other women you know she is doing nothing she is just yawning she have more than 300 viewers I have 37 and even the text is not moving I like what what's wrong with those people? why they are not talking to me maybe they are sleeping too I don't know I mean uh, yeah but I need to find a software how I can do that because can you can you share uh, your uh, desktop hunter with the pre-scope can you share your desktop the same as I do here or just it's a phone app if you can share you know text me in uh, in Facebook and tell me how to do it okay text me in Facebook please tell me how you can do it if you can send me like a video or YouTube to to learn how to do it and uh, I, will, I will no problem <clears throat> Well, YouTube tempering with a number or not, but still, I mean, who is holding people from coming being here? Like, we have only 163 people here right now, right? Obviously, you know, your, your topic, uh, you know, if you have a topic about food, people watch more. Make make now a, 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 a video, a short video, five minutes, about how to cook rice. You will find that you will have a lot more viewers from me spending many hours speaking about the cult of Islam no, this, this, is a, this is a reality go and see those women who they are making videos about uh, reviewing a skirt bikini bikini unboxing it's a shame however that will not make us give up you know for me it doesn't matter really I have 160 people watching right now Jesus, our Lord Himself, He have a twelve. Right? So that is not really a reason to make us uh, feel bad. Hello? Hello? Hello, CP. Hello, my friend. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. What do you like to share with us? Mm. Yeah. Can you can you mute the YouTube, please? Uh, uh, um, um, I want to talk about. Uh, you talk some. You said something about French. Okay. Uh, let me. 
Okay. Can you get me now clearly? Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. Uh, you're talking about uh, some uh, those who speak French and if they could help and um, uh, to to do some uh, publicity about the, the other book. Right. Um, yeah, I speak French. I, I am bilingual. I speak French and English and uh, a little bit of Arabic because I I lived and work in the Middle East for some time. That's good. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, the the link of my book of uh, the French book is yeah. in the uh, in the info in this video. If you go down, you will find it's the, the book name is called The Secret the Prophet Arab. So. Uh, uh, this book actually translated in a very fantastic way uh, okay. But because I don't speak French and all those who come to my videos to watch They mm -hmm. are English speaking people, you know, so this book is not really that much popular and very few people knows about it Okay, because uh, right now I'm, uh, I, I work and live in Germany, so but my Dutch is not very good, but I the last time I saw you publishing your 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 German book, uh, the, the the recent one, and right. Yeah, I even saw the video. You had some video conference with some one or two guys like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I really wish I could get contact of those guys so that we can. You you can contact them. You know, next time when they call, if you want, you can call us and you can join in the conversation with them. They are very nice people. Okay. Yeah. And they have their channel in their uh, and they have their channel in uh, YouTube. You can contact them there too. Okay. Uh, maybe if they can share their channel name on the on the on the chat site, maybe it'll be better. All right. If you go to yeah. my page, actually in Facebook about uh, 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 my German book, you will find mm -hmm. them. There are subscriber there, and they have a comment, so you can contact them there too. If you have a Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I, you know, I, I, if you want to make a if you want to make a review uh, uh, or you want to share the the book with uh, with your friends, uh, yeah. maybe the best way is to make like a video about it and why people need to read it. You know, I don't know. Okay. If you can yeah. Mm, yeah. I was I was in the Middle East for like three years, and that was when I I was I was born a Christian. I always grew up a Christian, but. My my faith only got stronger when I went to the Middle East because uh, I had so many challenges over there. You know, those people, they always come to you and uh, they try to explain to you why Islam is good. Uh, they always had this, uh, something like a conference area or a video area where you, when you are passing around the street, they put a very big screen of Zakanaik mm -hmm. doing all those his, uh Funny things and yeah. complicated. Uh, yeah, I understand. I understand. Being in a Muslim country would make you a better believer because you find you face a challenge which you don't face where you live. So that will make you more study and more search. That's yeah. a, that's a very good thing. Uh, anyway, you know what we do here is mm -hmm. uh, uh, help a lot of people to get their answers straight, and they learn how to refute Islam and how to get Islam busted. Not only how to refute Islam. Yeah. yeah, yeah, because I use majority, I use so many of your videos to to really challenge some of them, and most of the time uh, we had to to end the discussion because your your points were so strong enough that they couldn't stand them. Sometimes at one point I was even afraid of myself because it was like you know those people they don't have that uh, sense of tolerance. So when you when you push them so hard, it becomes uh, a violent situation. So, <laughs> yeah. well, this is very normal. Yeah. Like you know, when you are a person in the corner, what you can do, you 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 just uh, <laughs> you, you move your hands and your legs in every direction, and that will not make them successful anyway. That will make them uh, 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 like more exposed and uh, mm. more. Uh, you know, they prove their weakness. Mm. Uh, however, knowledge, knowledge always. Uh, have to be delivered in certain way and when you speak to Muslims you have to learn mm -hmm. that Muslims are not the same as anyone else when you debate when you debate with Muslims you, there's no debate there's no debate there's a chase you have to chase them you have to force them to say things you know they play games they are not honest people so there's no debate with Muslims there is there is a kind of uh, 
the Muslim, he tried to intimidate you. This is their, mm -hmm. this is their way of uh, proving themselves, is to intimidate you by screaming, by shouting. That's why when I speak to Muslim, I have to shout because the Muslims, <laughs> they have a mentality. If you speak nice and kind to them, that's mm -hmm. mean you are weak. You know I mean? Yeah, you're right. This is their mentality. It's not because, if you, you notice, like, really, when a Muslim call me, I don't really use a high voice, but usually I have to. But sometimes, like, you know, you, you can receive a call from a Muslim. He is not the same as the rest. But this is real. Uh, uh, but the most of the Muslims, you have to scream at them. Because if you don't scream, it means you are weak. And they scream yeah. at you, trying to intimidate you and not to give you an answer. Same time, the Muslim, he try always when he speak about anything, to jump from topic to topic to topic. Because he don't want you to corner him in one. The only way to escape that is before you answer him about the first question, he jumped to second question. Before you answer <laughs> the second question, he jumped to the third question. Because he knew that it's not going in the direction he wants. So he changed it right away. But if mm -hmm. it is not a change, if it's not going, let us say, if he asks you a question and he notices that you have a weakness, he will never change the topic. Of course, of course, yeah, yeah, very right. Yeah, because one thing I learned uh, about uh, one thing I learned so one thing so good that I learned from you was the fact that uh, whenever they they try to say something, you should always ask them, show me. When they quote all those their verses or uh, hadith or whatever, just ask them, show me. Where, where where is that coming from? Show me. Let me read it. Yeah, that is where, yeah, that's where you always get them because most of them they 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 usually say those things without even knowing when they are where they are coming from. Yeah, you know, uh, the second you say "show me," it is the same mm -hmm. second you just uh, uh, you know you spank him. It's like what? Yeah. <laughs> because because usually most time they say things and they don't expect anyone to tell them this is not a true. You know, yeah. because when you say show me it's obviously you are saying to them well where we can find that that's not true show me and if he mm -hmm. show you he will be worried now about what, what he's going to show you because whatever Muslims they quote for us there is something wrong with it of course yeah yeah anyway my friend thank you for uh, for calling and uh, if you make any video or anything let me know uh, so we can share it around in YouTube too you know and uh, uh, to to help me with the uh, promoting the French book. Yeah, okay, CP. I'll try my best to make sure your your message goes around. Yeah. Thank you, my friend. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, the link I will the name you can search in Amazon that France or mm -hmm. Amazon that Germany doesn't matter where you are uh, and mm -hmm. search for the book. It's Les Secrets du Prophet Arab by Christian mm -hmm. Prince. Or actually, the easiest way to get my book in any Amazon uh, is to search for Christian Prince books. As simple as that. Mm -hmm. Okay, CP, I'll All do right. that. Yeah. Thank you, my friend. God bless. Uh, uh, thanks so much. Yeah. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye. Right. Do we have any Muslim would like to call? You know, uh, if you see my Skype, actually, Uh, I'm receiving, you know, text and calls from people from around the world, from Pakistan, from Indonesia, from Africa, from everywhere. And this is telling us that people they need really, they are they are hungry for answers and how to refute Muslims, because simply we have a problem, and the problem is the Christians they go to their churches, those churches never spoke about Islam. You go to a Muslim mosque. From the morning until night, they are attacking Christianity and Judaism, especially Christianity, because Judaism is not a threat to Muslims. Um, in the other side, you go to a church, even if you ask your priest about Islam, 99% of them, they are ignorant, and they will give you a stupid answer. As an example, they will say to you, Muslims are from Ishmael, which is absolutely false. They will say to you that we and Muslims, we worship the same God, which is absolutely a big fat lie. And the Muslims are so happy to hear that we have some idiot priest teaching in our churches that we worship the same God. 
every verse in the Quran and every verse in the Bible confirm that the God of Islam have nothing to do with us so how somebody do such a thing you know say say such a thing to us how this is can happening you know I mean how in the world somebody he claimed to be a priest what what is the qualification of priest these days nothing you go to a school and you spend four years or two years studying the Bible and you pass the test and then you make a resume and then you apply for a job it's called the priest and most of those let us say call them uh, schools to teach to give you the certificate they are business people they don't care really about how much you know their exams is very naive very stupid there's nothing really nothing real those priests who work in churches they are not even making their own speech in the church they have a speech book so today is May uh, uh, the 19th so what we have we open the book it says a speech for May 19th and we read from there what it says there so even his speech is not his we need to change the way we observe knowledge if you go to a church and the church have a priest he's an idiot he is just doing a business he's just going to a job to earn money that is not a priest to go and listen to try to find someone is educated and there is two questions to examine a priest honesty ask him what he say about Islam and ask him what he say about homosexuality if he try to escape those questions it's mean this guy is a potato and he is fake and he is serving the devil a Christian priest who is following Jesus he will not be worried about saying what the Bible says about homosexuality correct A Christian priest who is following Jesus he will not hesitate to tell you that the Bible says whoever deny the father and the son this is the Bible saying that not me whoever deny the father and the son is an Antichrist so why I need to play games and why I need to say Muslims are from Ishmael and why I need to say we worship the same God if it says in the Bible the one who denied the father and the son is an Antichrist why he will lie to you unless he is following the devil those questions are very important to examine the dignity and the honesty of this person. If a priest, you ask him about what do you think about homosexuality, and he starts saying, yeah, it's okay, God love everybody, blah, blah, blah. And obviously, this guy, he's not giving an answer. And this is not what the Bible says. I'm not asking you if God loved them or not. This is not the question. What is the answer? There is there is fake priest who avoid giving you answers about sensitive topics because they are hypocrites. They only concern themselves people doing a job and they want to do it in a safe way. He is not worried about sharing the truth. He is worried about losing his job. You know what I mean? This is why you need to ask them those questions, and right away you will find what kind of priest they are. Uh, no, Muslims are not bold in their belief. Muslims are the the most liars ever in their belief. You are wrong. A Muslim, he will say to you. It, it, it does, uh, uh, I, so what, what do you mean the Muslims are bold with their belief Doesn't, aren't they the one who say ISIS is not Islam that 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 not because they are bold in their belief that's because they are the opposite they are ashamed of it so they hide it the only one is bold in their beliefs is the supporter and the followers of ISIS and Al-Qaeda that's the truth They will say things to you as it is. Those who sponsor the Mujahideen. Otherwise, the rest of Muslims didn't do that.
Yeah, but this does not mean they are bold. Still, they are, you know, they, they don't tell you really what they believe. Uh, do we have any Muslim would like to call? Sure, Rene. You want to call or you want to ask it in text? You can call me if you wish. You see, we even tried, we put the, the, the picture of uh, girls in the gym, try to make the Muslims call us, still it's not working. I mean, I don't know what I can do. Even that is not working. Girls in the gym. I thought that would bring me like a thousand Muslim here. All right. Hello? 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 Hey, Irene, how are you? Are you there? Oh, good, thank you. I haven't called in such a long time, but I felt I like I had a really good question to ask you, and you were the best person to ask about and you know, each time you call me, you say to me the same thing. Are you there? Oh, because I don't hear the first time you answer for some reason. It's no, just, it's I not, think, it's I silent. Think, I think the reason, because you have a weakness in your English, because let me teach you something. Okay. If you say to me, are you there? That's mean I am not here. True, but if you don't so say anything, you should I don't say, know. okay, but you are you are the one is there. I am here. So why you are saying to me, are you there? <laughs> let, let True. It go. Let it go. Anyway, <laughs> so what is the question, Irene? Okay, so um, I was talking with a Muslim about sort of 548. <laughs> okay. It's the, the verse. I've asked you about this verse before about, the, you know, Benny, they he the book between his hands. Mm -hmm. Except in Sahih International, they have a very weird translation of the last part of the verse. They try to say the, the Quran is a criterion over the previous scriptures. Mm. But whenever I was looking at a word by word of this particular verse, I don't see anywhere where it says that it's a criterion. And I was wondering how you would render the word. Hold on, let me try to find it. I don't even want to try to pronounce it because Arabic's your language. But I think it means guardian over it. And I was wondering grammatically. Mm. Is it saying the Quran is a guardian over the other scriptures, or is it saying Allah guards the incorruptibility of the other scriptures? The word is Muhammad, right? The word uh, is Muhammad. وَأَنْزَلْنَا إِلَيْكَ الْكِتَابَ بِالْحَقِّ مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ مِنَ الْكِتَابِ وَمُهَيْمِنًا عَلَيْهِ. Now, yes. in order to get what this is mean, you know. Uh, you see, because if I give my own understanding, because I speak Arabic, the Muslim, they will say to you, oh, the yeah, Christian prince, this is his fabrication. So mm -hmm. we can go right now and see what the Muslims believe about this in their own interpretation. Chapter 5, verse number 48. We go, and this is the official Islamic website of the Kingdom of Jordan. All right. Please, let's read together. <clears throat> we have revealed, confirming the book that was before it, and it was watching over it, testifying to it. So this is what the word Muhammad means. Now, the book is testifying for the book which came before it, right? Yeah. Okay. How I can testify? For a book is corrupt. You can't. You cannot. So he is testifying when in the present. Right? When yeah. when the verse is delivered, he is test testifying for it. And in the verse in the Quran, it does not say to the book revealed before it. This is in the interpretation. In Arabic, it says, Musaddiqan lima bayna yadayhi, to which what is between his hands, which is now between his hands. And what is between the hands of the Christians is their Bible. So he is witnessing for it, testifying for it that this is the book of God. And that if we sense. go in the Quran, uh, if we go in the Quran, we will find another verse. قل يا أيها يا أهل الكتاب لستم على شيء حتى تقيم التوراة والإنجيل وما أنزل إليكم إليكم من ربكم. Let us see what this translation is. Chapter five, verse number sixty-eight. The same chapter we are reading from. You will see here. It says, 
Say, O oh people of the book, you have no ground to stand upon unless you ye stand fast by the law and, and the gospel and all revelation that has come to you from your Lord. Okay. The Quran in this statement is mentioned in the time of Muhammad asking the Christians to follow the gospel and the Torah. How they can follow a book is not exist. And he is saying to them, you have no ground unless you follow it. Did Muhammad present the Torah? No. Did Muhammad present a new gospel and he said, this is the one you should follow? No. So the Quran is asking us to follow what? A book does not exist? No way. Because that would be stupid. So the Quran confirmed that you as a Christian, you need to follow the Bible in order to be considered a follower of God. And then the verse after verse number 69 says, those who believe in the Quran, which means the Muslims, and those who follow the Jewish scriptures, which means the Jews, the Torah, and the Sabians, and the Christians, and any who believe in Allah in the last days and the work of righteousness, on them shall be no fear, and nor shall they agree, which means they will go to heaven. Okay. Those are in the Quran called, that in the translation, Christians. In the translation, Jews. In the translation, Sabian. In Arabic, the Christians appear as Nasara, which is a Christian cult. The Jews are the Jews, no change. The Sabian are the Sabian, no change. So how the Quran confirm that those who follow the scriptures of the Jews, they will go to heaven. We will make careful. It says those who follow, not those who follow in the past, those who they are following now. So that's mean that they have a true scriptures between their hands and they are following it right now. And those who they are Sabian are the same, but the Sabians are pagan who worship stars. How Muhammad, he mentioned them that they are saved, that because he is a hypocrite. <laughs> and this is stage, Muhammad was saying to everybody, you will go to heaven, don't be against me. The Sabian, you will go to heaven. The Christians, you go to heaven. The Jews, you go to heaven. But all of us, we knew that here there's a problem because the Christians believe that the Jews will not go to heaven unless they believe in Jesus. The Jews believe that the Christians will not go to heaven because they are following Jesus. The Sabian they believe in both they believe in they don't believe in both. Actually, the Sabian they believe that Adonai is the devil. The God of the Jews is the devil, and they hate the God of the Jews to death, and they hate Musa's. So Muhammad, he you know, he in one basket he 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 collected a lot of uh, uh, parties and those parties are scattered against each other and they don't agree with each other yes the christians agree with the scriptures of the torah but the scriptures of the torah people don't agree with the christians the sabians are anti-christianity anti-judaism and specifically anti-judaism so how all those three will go to heaven if they follow the book and which book the sabians you were following muhammad is a person when he make a statement as we see here he was trying to present himself that he is not against the Torah and he is not against the gospel he is being hypocrite like Obama so now he is saying I approve the gospel I approve the Torah actually you know what if you don't follow it you have nothing no ground but this is what the Christians already believe he's not saying something new the Christian believe if we don't follow the teaching of Jesus we have no ground the Moses the, the, the Jews believe if we don't follow the teaching of Moses and the prophets we have no ground so Muhammad, he added nothing, except he is just agreeing with them that I confirm the book which is between your hand. In the top of that, I promise you that you will go to heaven if you follow it. It was just a sign of hypocrisy of Muhammad trying to get a close to the Jews, to the Sabi, and to the Christians. What would you respond to someone like Shabir Ali who would say that these verses are only speaking of the parts that agree with the Quran? Uh, okay, that that will be stupid then because uh, how he say the scriptures he didn't say the part Correct, you know, did but he that's say their understanding? Yeah, he, he didn't say he, he believe in some of what is between his hand He said he believe in what is between his hand right and why the Quran call us the people of the book If we don't have a book, we have only a few scriptures. You see True. the Muslims they, they are short of intelligence If you read <laughs> the same verse you are quoting for me, it says the people of the book Does it say that? Yes. Okay. All people of the book. That's mean 
what is confirmed is named and what is confirmed as you see in the front of you it says the law which means the Torah and the gospel so how we can say one verse or two verse in agreement he named us as people of the book and actually this is one of the funny things about Islam we are the people of the book Muslims are not people of the book so since when Muslims they have a book <laughs> and what is Good the Quran point. then yeah if the Quran is a book of God <laughs> Why we are the one called the people of the book and the Muslims are not the people of the book? Because it wasn't a book yet. Because there's no book at all. It's a <laughs> joke. So Muhammad himself, he got himself busted over and over. We are the people of the book. They are not the people of the book. Which means by saying we are the people of the book, we are the people of book of God. And why we still carry the title if we are not following it? You know what I mean? If you, right. if you if you say to a person is not following Jesus you follow to him Oh, the people of Jesus, but you are not following Jesus no more So why you say to him for you know, I will not say to someone from Jehovah's Witnesses or people of Jesus I Will not say to Jehovah's Witnesses or people of the book because their book is corrupt is false false translation I Will not say to someone he's a Mormon or people of the book because their book is not even close So why we are called the people of the book? And why the book is named literally by the Torah and the gospel and why we are going to go to heaven if we follow those books if there's no books doesn't the Quran also call the the Bible a criterion as well what do you mean by criterion I'm not sure I forget what the Arabic word is but in some of the translations of the Quran it says that Allah will protect the the reminder and it calls oh, a, a, the, yeah, a, a zikr, yeah, a zikr, yeah, 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 that yeah. word, <laughs> what you said, yeah, you see, and in the translation, they only say it's Quran, but in other, in other verses, they say it actually refers to the Torah, the Psalms, right, and right, the gospel, yeah. yeah, this is another, another contradiction in the Quran about this because how it is the Torah, how it is in, 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 uh, a book is exists before Islam, and this is the Psalm, and then you say that a zikr means. The uh, uh, the Quran, you see, the the Muslims they have a lot of problems. As an example, they say that no one can change the word of Allah. All right, nobody. Chapter six, verse number thirty-four, and look how this chapter will get the Muslim busted. Take a note if you have uh, you know six chapter six number thirty-four. What this chapter is speaking of? It says. And certainly apostle before you were rejected But they were patient on being rejected and persecuted until our help come to them and There is none to change the words of Allah Remind remember here uh, Renee. He is talking about apostle where apostle before you, right? Right, okay, so and here he's saying nobody can change the word of Allah about who about those apostles but aren't the Psalms the word of David? No, no, just wait. And we are we are, we are talking about this. Here, Muhammad saying, the Quran saying, certainly apostle before you, before whom? Before Muhammad. Right? Apostle before you away rejected. And those people they were patient, and then we helped them. And then he said right away, and there is none to change the word of Allah. That's mean this is the word of those apostles. So those apostles, they are rejected, they are persecuted, they are uh, helped by Allah, and nobody can change the words <laughs> which sent with them by Allah. Is the word of Allah is equal to each other? If a Muslim will say no, that's mean Islam is stupid religion because the word of Allah is the word of Allah. When Allah here speak, is he speaking about protecting the Quran? That's false because he is not is even mentioning the Quran. He is mentioning the apostles before you, who Allah helped them, and nobody can change their words. Same time, if the Quran, and the Injil, and the Torah is the word of God, how, uh, uh, how, how those ch uh, changed? If we go in the Quran, we will find the following.
chapter 5 verse number 44 the same chapter you are quoting uh, you're quoting from it says it was we who revealed the law to Moses actually it says the Torah therein was guidance and light by its standard have been judged the Jews by the prophets who bowed as between two bracket in Islam translation to Allah will uh, uh, to Allah will by the rabbis and the doctor of law for them was entrusted the protection of Allah book so look in here the Quran confirmed that Allah he trusted the Jews to protect the Quran oh sorry here the Torah right right so if I am a person who I trust you to protect that's mean my intention is to protect the book do I agree correct if I trust you to protect if I give you my car you know which is very old anyway and I say to you uh, keep it keep it in you I mean that would be funny it's old already but you will say to me okay you trusted me I will keep my trust but this is mean when I say I trusted you it's mean my intention is to protect the book which mean Allah don't want the book to be corrupt okay here we have tons of problems in this verse when Allah he trusted the rabbis in protecting the book so why he wrote the tablet for Moses? I mean, is the rabbis really in charge of protecting the book of God or God? And if this is the case, what was the purpose of writing the tablet? Why Allah he wrote the tablet for Moses, as the Quran mentioned, but he did not write the tablet for Muhammad? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Writing a rocks is to preserve teaching at least until they memorize it and remember the Muslims believe that Allah he wrote the tablets of Moses not the Ten Commandment he wrote all the Torah in tablets and that's a lot of trucks of rocks <laughs> which is very stupid because the, the the Torah is a very big book so you Allah he wrote all the Torah in the rocks that's amazing and now Allah here is stating that he trusted the rabbi if I trust a person in something that's mean I believe he is good correct correct so how Allah he trusted the rabbi and those rabbis they corrupted the Torah that mean Allah he trusted them wrongly yeah which means yeah so he made a bad judgment he trusted the wrong people and that's mean Allah is cannot be Almighty God for Almighty God, He knew the future and He knew what we will do. So, entrusting the rabbi in protecting the book will lead us to a conclusion that Allah is a stupid God. This is Muhammad trying to claim that Allah, He trusted the Jews to protect the book. But the fact this is not the book of the Jews, this is the book of Allah, as the Quran itself tells us, it was revealed as a guidance by the prophets so this is the book of god why the book of god should be protected by the rabbi and why the quran should not be protected by the rabbi because rabbi is simply the teacher of the law the master of the law the muslim they call him they call them sahaba they call them etc so the muslims they have a quran was it protected by allah no in the quran if we go in the quran we will find Muhammad saying, claiming that the one who speak is Allah. He said that Allah, he promised that it is on Allah to collect the Quran and to preserve the Quran. Inna alayna jam'uhu wa Qur'anahu. Chapter 75, verse number 17. It is on us to proclaim the Quran, to recite the Quran, and to protect the Quran. Did Allah collect the Quran? No, it was Uthman. Did Allah recite the Quran? No. Even in the time of Muhammad, Muhammad never heard Allah speaking. Not even once. It was supposed to Jibreel. So when Allah, he promised that he is going to protect the Quran, did he keep his promise by collecting it and reciting it? No. For all of us, we knew 
that the one who collected the Quran, it was the Caliphate after Muhammad, and many of the Quran is missing. As an example, Umar al-Khattab, he said, that there is a million and twenty-five thousand letter is it, it was the number of the letters of the Quran, and now we have less than two hundred seventy thousand, which means more than seventy percent or to eighty percent of the Quran are missing. You know for sure the hadith about the goat who ate the Quran, mm -hmm. right? This is a very famous hadith. The hadith says that when Muhammad was dying in the element of death. Aisha, she was busy with her, you know, in his death, and a goat. She entered the 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 room of Muhammad. She flipped Muhammad from over his pillow. Uh, Muhammad is sleeping, and the pillow is dead. I mean, not sleeping; he's dead. The guy is dead. So the uh, and the Quran, according to Aisha, was under her pillow, and then a goat. She entered the room. Read with me carefully, people. The verses of stoning and breastfeeding an adult ten times was revealed so quran has or used to have verses about a man can suck the nipples of a growing woman 10 time until he is satisfied and that is lawful in islam which is a very crazy teaching and the paper was with me under my pillow where is the paper located and the pillow but the pillow of aisha is the pillow of muhammad when the messenger of allah died we were preoccupied with his death Okay, and a tam sheep came and ate it. Okay, so now we have verses, chapters, speaking about certain things eaten by the goat. Can a Muslim quote for me the verses of a breastfeeding? No, I can't. If you see with me here, it says in the in the rest of the hadith, they, these verses were abrogated in recitation, but not in ruling. What? Recitation the goat ate it Who is the one who abrogated those verses Allah how those <laughs> verses abrogate in recitation did Allah send you a verse saying don't recite those verses no more and And what is the benefit of abrogating by recitation? But not by a ruling. I mean, this is stupid. Don't you need the recitation to practice the ruling the recitation is the words in order to practice something I need the words so I can understand what it says and then I practice what it says. So the Muslims to solve this problem they says these verses were abrogated in recitation but not in ruling and then they continue saying something more stupid. Other hadiths establish the number of uh, first rage to be five. So those numbers is in the hadith and Allah he abrogated supposedly the breastfeeding adult verses by five, but we cannot find the five, we cannot find the ten, and the story in the front of us is in the Quran. Just one more thing before we finish this. Can we do abrogation based on the hadith? The answer no. Because the Quran confirmed that when a Muslim they say to us, those verses abrogated, like the muta as an example, by the hadith, the Quran confirmed that you cannot abrogate the word of Allah by anything except Allah. Here in the Quran, we will find chapter 2, verse 106. Let us read. It says, None of our revelation do we abrogate or cause to be forgotten. The Muslim they say to us that the Quran is preserved when the Quran itself confirm that the Quran is forgotten and the one who make you forget the Quran is Allah which is very crazy Allah he make me forget Quran but Allah he sent me the Quran and he asked me to preserve the Quran <laughs> and then he says any verses any revelation we abrogate or cause to be forgotten but we substitute something better or similar hold on why you want to abrogate to send us something similar or better when he says similar this is hilarious and stupid because if it is similar why you made us forget it anyway right if it is better are you saying that the word of Allah is better than the word of Allah how Allah can make better Quran than his Quran the funny the Muslim they say to us <laughs> if Allah if you if you I challenge you to make Quran like the Quran well Allah he says to you there's Quran better than the Quran and Allah himself is going to make better Quran so 
how it's preserved but yet it is forgotten and this is mentioned in the Quran cause to be forgotten by Allah how it's preserved but yet it's abrogated and we cannot find the verse which abrogating the other verse which means we cannot find the verses of 10 breastfeeding adult and we cannot find the verse of five time breastfeeding adult so both of them are mission uh, are missing and we cannot find the abrogated one and the abrogating one and we cannot find the forgotten one because already it's forgotten and now Allah is saying to us don't worry I will make something better and similar why Muhammad he came with this verse because Muhammad he keep forgetting the Quran and he cannot recite the Quran twice correctly this is why Muhammad he come with the with the idea that Allah he sent him the Quran in seven letters why he said that because he got busted he says something and then uh, uh, you know uh, later he noticed that he cannot recite it again correctly and people they start laughing at him you yesterday we caught for us the same verse but it was different so in order to cover his 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 lies Muhammad he come with a solution that Allah he sent me the Quran in seven letters now as long as the Muslims agree that Allah sent him the Quran in seven letters where are they the seven Quran you Muslims until now you say to us we have one Quran can you give me the seven Quran which Muhammad he received the answer they will say we don't have them so how the Quran is preserved Allah decide to preserve only one Quran hmm? if we go right now and search in the hadith we will find the following you see this topic I can keep going forever <laughs> giving you proofs after one. proofs yeah you know it's it's uh, it's endless but we can prove that this religion is a mad religion you know Jibreel taught me to recite in one style I replied to him and keep asking him to give me more style what more style this is more Quran Ahruf till he reached seven I mean this guy he keep asking for more well, okay what is the seven I want the seven Jibreel came to me and he said Allah has commanded you to make your community read the Quran in one letter he the prophet said I beg Allah his burden and forgive me forgiveness my community has no strength to do so hold on Muhammad he is claiming that his society cannot understand the Quran if it is coming in one Quran it have to be more I beg Allah his forgiveness my community has no strength no ability to do so to do what to take the Quran in one letter Harf is uh, uh, the way he recited he changed the words he changed the tone he changed the the the, the word location this is what it's what it's mean the style so sometimes he add a word sometimes he take a word but supposedly they are the same close so he said I beg Allah I cannot do that why why this is not happen to Moses did Allah give Moses seven Torah no did Allah give Jesus <laughs> seven gospel why the people of Jesus do not need seven gospel and why the people of, of, of more Moses do not need seven Torah and why the people of David do not need the seven books and the book of Abraham etc only in Muhammad case because he's a liar and he got busted so he says here the second time Jibreel he came to me I asked him for one more and one more and one more until they became seven seven and he said that my community cannot they are unable to preserve the Quran if it's one was Allah making a mistake when he decided to send Muhammad one Quran and Muhammad is correcting Allah I thought that everything Allah he said about his book is already preserved in the preserved book or the preserved tablet we spoke about it just yesterday so here you see that Muhammad is God who create his own fiction stories to cover his lies and here if you read with me here I my my people are not capable of doing it not capable of doing what of preserving and understanding the Quran <laughs> if it is one now you Muslims you have one Quran and your prophet saying you can you are not capable of doing it oh my goodness and Allah agree with him that okay I, you, you are right I'm going to get, send you more and he keep asking more for more until he gave him seven times 
So now where is the seven Quran? This is the challenge for the Muslim So the Quran is not preserved and even if the Muslim they want to say the Torah and the gospel of Allah are corrupted What is my problem? This is not my problem. I think it's really silly that Allah says he wrote the the Torah the law on tablets But he couldn't do the same thing for the Quran I mean it would have prevented the goat from eating it if it had been on stone But it's it's weird how Allah didn't didn't think to do that for his own holy book Really, when a Muslim says to you the Torah is corrupt, just say that to him and you will see how his tone change. Say to him, the Torah of Allah is corrupt. And right away he will see, he will, he will notice how full he is because he's trying to convince you that the book of Allah is corrupt. So what's my problem? I don't believe in your Allah. I don't believe in his book. And you are telling me that your God book is corrupt. That is against your God, <laughs> not against me. You are telling me that your God, he sent books, but he cannot protect them. How stupid that God is, how weak he is. Allah, exactly. ac according to Muslims, Allah, He sent 124,000 messengers. And the Muslims, they are trying their best to convince us that from the 120,000 messenger, only one book of one messenger, Allah was able to preserve. Allah is the worst librarian ever in the history. <laughs> Imagine if we hire Allah to work in a library and we leave with him a library of 120,000 books and we came after 10 came back after 10 years and we find only one book left in the shelf. I mean what a horrible god he is. What a stupid employee to be trusted he is. You Muslims convincing us that your god book is corrupt. I agree. Your god is weak he is false and he can't protect even a page of his own so what is my problem i see nightmares is here i i want to encourage him to call and that see is, what he says about this topic so let's a, see if he'll he, call he is us. a kid he's a kid he's just a stupid kid he, he called he called me to say donkey and etc by the way this guy <laughs> each time he called me donkey he forgot that muhammad he married zainab <laughs> to jash you know what jash mean donkey donkey so Muhammad, his last name is Kilab, which means dogs, and his wife, the daughter of the donkey. And yet the Muslims, they call me dog and they call me donkey. When their prophet, his last name, his family is based on donkeys and dogs. Anyway, thank you, Renee, for calling. Thank uh, you so much for answering my question. You have a good day. I'll you're, still be listening. You're welcome, my friend. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Do we have any Abdul? Mayday, mayday. My people are incapable. Capable of what? What kind of a prophet he is correcting his God, telling his God what his people can do and what his people cannot do. And you will notice that Allah, he agree with Muhammad. Have you ever heard of a stupid religion like this before? The prophet is correcting the decision of God Telling him you are wrong. You cannot give me the Quran in one letter. You have to give it to me in seven and Look how stupid this book is The angel he come to him second time It took Allah Allah is a very slow God very very slow God Extremely slow. Let me show you how slow he is <clears throat> Read carefully with me, please. <clears throat> when Jibreel came, he said to Muhammad, I hope the whole text is coming in the screen from your side. Allah commanded you to recite to your people the Quran in one dialect. Allah what? Commanded you. I want you to take that into consideration. The one who command this command is Allah. And here the funny Allah is saying one dialect. So he made a decision. Muhammad don't agree with his God. Explaining to his stupid God that you idiot, that is impossible. Read carefully. Upon this he said, I ask Allah burden and forgiveness. My people are not capable of doing it. So the God of Islam 
is unaware that his prophet is a smarter and he's a smart ass not like him and the prophet is correcting him but with respect i mean god i big forgiveness you cannot do that i mean stupid or what my people are in they are not capable then the angel he go back to allah and he come back to muhammad for the second time and he said to him allah has commanded you that you should recite the quran to your people in two dialect look at this stupid god allah did not get it now he think that muhammad he want two dialect only <laughs> Do you want me to call you nightmare? Do you want me to call you? If you call names, if you call names, I will call your prophet names. Don't use bad language. Don't use the F word. Don't use, you know, I know you. Moroccan boy. Savage. Let me call you. Hold on. I will call you just for the sake of entertainment. Hold on. Okay, answer Abdul. <laughs> answer. Oh boy. something I think he is using proxy or something answer How are you, Abdul? Oh, no. well, then always you let me call you because because you block me. Because you're a kid. You block hey, me. Let us, see, you. let us see if you are a man because or not. I, because, let, let us see if you are a man or not. Because because you, you let were, us not to waste our time. You were talking about. Let us. Uh, let us. No, about, no, no, uh, no, 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 no. I want you to answer eat, this. Uh, Why Allah? No, don't. Huh? Talk, we, we will go there. We have a topic now. We have it. We will talk about eating the Quran. We will talk about eating the Quran. Answer. Who is Muhammad to correct Allah about how many Quran he should send? Uh, let's let's talk about the goat. No way do I Quran. talk about this. Why you are not ready for this one? You are not ready? You need to eat no, some vitamin? No, Why? I'm ready for I'm ready okay. for the goat we, eating we, the Quran. We have now in the screen this. We finish it, we go to the goat. No problem. I have no, a lot of goats for you. I know I, I, I see, need to prepare this is, myself. This is why that. I say you are a kid. What's wrong with you? You are a Muslim. No. You can answer about this. This is the same one. We will talk about both. No problem. No, I no, promise no. you. No. I promise you. I I'm, promise you. We okay. can talk about that next time. No, not next I'm time. Not next time. Now, now, now. I want you to talk about why not now? Why not now? What the problem? No, I'm not prepared for that. What do you need to be prepared? You need to eat some food. What does that mean? Ah, I'm not so prepared because you. What, what, what you does that do? mean? You okay, just, Arabic, just, Arabic get, just, website, just get, just get lost. Just lost. Get lost. Guys, this guy is not a prepared. So I talk about something. He goes spend two weeks to be prepared. Obviously, you are a false Muslim. What kind of Muslim? He cannot answer a very simple thing. I'm not prepared. You are saying to me you are a stupid Muslim who do not know what to say about this. I am not prepared. Have you ever heard of a guy who spent his life? He's fifty years old. Who spent his life going to the mosque? He cannot answer something simple, very simple hadith. He is not prepared for he do not know what to say about the stupidity of his prophet what he will say to us his prophet is correcting his stupid Allah and Allah is so slow is not getting it 
Allah he said to him you have to pray in one dialect Muhammad he says come on I seek a burden of forgiveness my people are not capable then the angel come back to him again in the second time and Allah he said to him Allah command you to recite the Quran in two dialect what's wrong with this God Allah do not know what Muhammad is thinking about upon this he the prophet said and the Muslim they call him holy as you see suddenly again said again I seek burden and forgiveness from Allah my people would not be able to do so what Allah is not getting it look like those two guys are speaking to different languages Allah told him okay we will make it too he sent him Jibreel he said okay too Muhammad say no way my people are not capable of doing this the angel go the angel come the angel go the angel go, come and the whole story repeat itself again and again and the stupid Allah cannot understand that Muhammad he is asking for seven time what is the purpose of this bargain are we doing marketing are we in the bazaar in the Middle East trying to buy some hummus a prophet is correcting his God Allah order him in one dialect Muhammad saying no it is not right. My people are not capable. They cannot do it. It is Muhammad who make decision if one Quran is the right or two Quran is the right or three Quran is the right. It's not Allah. And Allah is just a customer service. I order you to teach your people in two dialects. And here, by the way, we have many questions. How Muhammad knew that there's need for two dialect? <laughs> I mean, this guy is a genius. Allah, the Almighty, supposedly he do not know. And Muhammad, he knew? And what dialect is the one you want? What is that? You are in a small town. It's called Mecca. And the population is not even 2,000. What dialect? Are you saying to me Mecca have seven dialect? And if my people, they cannot handle the Quran with one dialect, how the Muslims are able to handle it today? Especially if we take into consideration that nightmare when he called me once, he said that the Arabic language is not practiced no more. It is a dead language. The language of the Quran is dead. He said that, you can ask him. So now how the Muslim, they can practice a dead language which nobody speak no more not even a single tribe in this earth speak the language of the quran anymore this is the language of the tribe of Quraysh. how they cannot and they are incapable of reciting the quran at that time if it is in the dialect of Quraysh or in one dialect and now the muslims they can they can do it So Muhammad, he keep asking for more. Allah is being stupid. He keeps sending him one by one. Muhammad keep asking for more and more and more until the one dialect became seven dialect. And why seven? Seven is a number Muhammad is copying from the Bible. God created the earth and the heaven in six days and the seventh day he is finished. He's done. Everything is complete. Seven Quran. Where are they? And who was the one collecting the recitation of seven Quran? And where we can find the manuscript for them? And if they are the same, then they are not the same. If they are, if they are the same exactly of each other, then there is no dialect. It's the same, but they are not. This is story.
Muhammad he mentioned to cover his lies that he is always forgetting the Quran if we go in the hadith in different hadith we will find Muhammad saying the following this is Sahih al-Bukhari Allah Apostle heard a man reciting the Quran at the night and said may Allah bestow his mercy on him as he has reminded me of such and such verses and such and such surahs I was caused to be forgotten or forget the Muslims they say to us lying that they received the Quran from the Prophet and they themselves they recite the Quran by heart when the Quran itself cannot be even remembered by the Prophet himself And Muhammad here is making a slip of a tongue and admitting that he himself cannot remember his own chapters. You see, he is not mentioning the verses only. He forgot. He mentioned verses and chapters totally is forgotten by him. And this is, this is a confirmation that Muhammad is a false prophet. Why? Because the Quran say clearly that muhammad allah will teach him quran and he will not forget if you go in the quran you will find the following switch to arabic Uh -huh. I know what's wrong with this uh, search engine. So no Chapter eighty-seven, verse number six. Allah saying and making a clear declaration that we will make you recite Quran and you will never forget the Quran. You will never forget the Quran it was a false promise from a false God his name is Allah and Muhammad he confirmed that he is forgetting the Quran when the Quran saying that we will teach you Quran and you will never forget it this is why Muslims they avoid speaking about those things and they try to be silly to speak about silly stuff like the goat what the goat hadith says the goat ate it what you will say to me you will say to me the goat ate the ate the verses without hummus what you will say it says that those verses are eating we cannot find them where is the verses of stoning to death they are gone where is the verses of breastfeeding 10 time they are gone And here you will notice when the hadith speak about the goat eating the verses something wrong happening in this story the second you mentioned to me that Muhammad he wrote those in the Quran that's mean Muhammad he wanted them to be reserved correct guys when I write something in a paper that's mean my will is to preserve those things was Muhammad inspired by God to write verses they should not be written if the Muslim they want to say to us it was Allah will he don't want them to write him so why he wrote them if the Muslim they want to say to us it is the will of Allah that those verses should not be written and preserved in writing then why he wrote it why he have it in a paper written preserved in his bedroom if it is not or should not be written and preserved was the goat sent by Allah because Muhammad disobey Allah maybe maybe the goat 
is uh, James Bond. What what his number in the in the movie? What is the number of James Bond? Agent Seven, whatever they call him. If Muhammad writing the verses, obviously he is doing his best to preserve the verses. Where they? Yeah, was Muhammad zero zero seven? The agent W zero zero seven was able to preserve it. No, obviously Muhammad he wrote the verses and he put it in his safe, which is the pillow in this case, under his head. The goat jumped on the bed. She flipped the prophet who is dead, and you can imagine how big this goat is. And she flipped the pillow and she ate the chapters and not only this chapters many chapters are gone but but uh, Aisha she is quoting for us the important verses there is no way that the goat she ate of uh, pages they have only those two verses otherwise that means this goat is searching for search like certain kind of food so Muhammad when he wrote it he's obviously trying to preserve it Muhammad, when he wrote it, he's trying to keep it. This is why it's written. And now where it is. If you go, Umar al-Khattab, he said, I'm afraid that time will come and people will not practice the chapter of Ar-Rajm because they cannot find it in the book of Allah. Guys, look at this. I ask Abu Abdullah ibn Abu Auf, did Allah Apostle carry out a regime penalty? I e stoning to death. He said yes. I said before the revelation of Surat An Nur or after it. He said I do not know. They don't even know which verses was when it was revealed before or after. They have no idea. They have no idea. Mm. Here you will see the story how Muhammad he learned about the stoning. He is copying the Torah, a thief. Read here what Omar he said. Omar said, I am afraid that after a long time has passed, people may say, uh-huh, we did not find the verses of the Rajam, which means Tony to death, in the holy book. And coincidentally, they, might, they may go astray by leaving an obligation that Allah has revealed. Omar is worried. We should have a Rajam verses there, but we cannot find them. And he is telling you why? Because now people, they might stop doing that. So it is a must to have it where it is. Omar, he considered that this is a big mistake. We need the, the Rajam chapter to be in the Quran. Otherwise, people, they will not follow it no more. As you see in the front of your eyes. Any unprepared Muslim would like to call me. I like to talk only to unprepared Muslims. If you are prepared Muslim, don't call me, please. This is why the way the, why the, way the Muslims, they say to you, I want to debate you about a topic, and they decide the topic two months in advance because they are not prepared about anything. They are false people, fake people. This guy, he do not know even if his God is a spirit or a physical being imagine this idiot 50 years old man worshiping a god he believe is a spirit and i am the one who is a christian taught him that your god is not a spirit prepared for what 50 years you are not prepared to worship the right god you are worshiping the wrong god who you think he is a spirit 50 years 
go into the mosque what you were doing there what you were doing in the mosque digging for your boogers you never asked your scholar your sheikh if Allah is a spirit or not and here you learn it from me what a shame and it's recorded those Muslims they have no idea who's Allah that's why we ask the Muslim who's Allah they don't know do you remember my debate with Dr. Nabil Baikli, the head of the Islamic Center of Tennessee, who have a PhD in Islam, he said, no one knows what is Allah. As simple as that. No one knows what is Allah. So what do you think about a Muslim who have no education? If a guy who have a PhD in Islam, he's a sheikh, big beard, he says, no one knows what is Allah. That is Islam. Thank you guys for being here. It's time for me to go. It's getting late here. Uh, tomorrow I will not be on air. Tomorrow is Sunday. So we take it as a break for everybody. And we will be back on track at 4.30 p.m. New York time at this coming Monday. I hope we did our part uh, to uh, share knowledge. Please feel free to download my videos, share them, subscribe, tell your friends about them. And uh, Feel free to get my books from Amazon.com if you like, if you are interested. Thank you. May the Lord bless you all. And uh, we see you this coming Monday again. Christ is Lord. And Muslims are not prepared as usual. And they will never be prepared. Till the judgment day. And then they will notice that Muhammad is a scam. And he is the one who ate the Quran not the goat christ is lord islam is false and see you soon again bye bye